Uh, Here we uh, go. There. Hey, Johnny. Do you want to go to an ice cream social? Yeah, I'd love to. Great. Let's go. Time for the episode of Matt Mattingly's Ice Cream Social. Sitting across from me is Paul Mattingly. Across from me, it's Mr. Matt Donnelly. And on the knobs and dials is Jacob, the audio guy. Love that guy. We're preaching fun. Yeah. I uh, I I woke up uh, to the four most frightening words uh, my son could say to me. Mm. Uh, I Daddy, just got married. Today. I'm pregnant again. Okay. <laughs> I just got married. Okay. Any other guesses? <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, four words. Four words. Um, I got a dog. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh. Um, good. I have the AIDS. <laughs> <laughs> All of them. The, the, uh, Daddy can. Uh, oh no! It's sorry. It's five yeah. words. No, no, no. Daddy, can we? Yeah, it's five words. Daddy, can we watch Frozen? <laughs> ah. is, this the, is this the first? Yeah. Oh boy, here it comes. Oh fuck. Yeah. I hate it as much as I thought I'd hate it. Yeah. Really? You hated it? Oh. <laughs> I didn't hate it, but I've only watched it once. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, just compared to the other stuff that we're watching, it just is so... Well, sure. It's not It's not Iron Man. No, it's not Iron Man. Or... True. I like Moana. I like Moana. Yeah, and I like all the Cars movies. Um, I just... Yeah, I just... Well, buckle in, pal. I know. You're in for the long haul. And, then he's and like, two's wanna... coming out, what... This year, I know. It's, I think it's called Still Frozen. And the, uh, uh, in Christmas, <laughs> yeah. Christmas time, right? I think maybe. I don't know. It's just called uh, Below Zero Celsius. Yeah, I do think that I'm going out to uh, New York in a, in a couple of months to do Frozen on Broadway, though. You are. I haven't told you guys about that. I think I am. I, I don't know that I am. Wow. Yet. But uh, uh, the Prince, you're playing the Prince. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> And the snowman. I thought you'd be an Olaf. I, I, w- I am very envious of Josh Gad's career. Yes. I, I got to sit in on a table read for um, 21. Uh huh. Remember that movie with Kevin Spacey? And, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I got to sit in on a table read with him and a bunch of those guys. Yeah. And I, even then, I was already envious of Josh Gad's career. And now I'm really envious of Josh Gad's career. As a man of size. I appreciate how far he's gotten. Yeah, and yeah. then he's not just cast as like Hey he's Tubby. He's not just cast as Hey Tubby, but he's also really going balls to the wall on the voice work, which is where yeah. I want to live one day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, too bad. No, it's going to happen. Uh, Jacob, you going to Broadway? I just did a little work on it. Yeah, maybe. Okay. Yeah, like a, a buddy of mine that's that's uh, working on the pr- on the production end of it asked me if I'd be, if I'd come out and do some do, help out a little bit. Nice. I'd say that, first of all, whenever I watch a cartoon with my kids, I usually just like it the first time through and I don't have pet peeves right away. Yeah. I have pet peeves right away about a few things. What hits you? One is the song Let It Go yeah. is the opposite of what the song is saying. Okay. Like, if you really are going to let it go, yeah, it shouldn't be this big dramatic <laughs> overture of like... You wouldn't even sing like, the song. Like, the gas station overcharged me, like, I'm going to fucking let it go. I don't care. I don't need that money anyway. Who gives a shit? I'll move on. If anyone's doing that, you don't believe them, right? Right. Like It, it sounds like it's pretty important to <laughs> Exactly. So, yeah. like, everything about letting it go. It affected you pretty solid. Yeah. 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 And so they try to do this thing where it's not about kissing a prince, but, like, it seems to still see, be a lot about, like, fairy tale companionship and stuff. Do you think and at one time this children? story was a straight-up lesbian romance and got tweaked out to fit the Disney mold? Oh, that makes – I'm very happy you brought this up, Paul. Because knowing that thought will allow me to watch this again without hating it as much. There you go. Wouldn't it be so an incestu- incestuous lesbian romance? I'm, they saying, sisters? I'm saying without it being tweaked to fit the Disney mold. Oh, so yeah. you think one of the tweaks was sisters? Yes. Okay. It was likely a situation where maybe she was the uh, the uh, hanger, the daughter of the um, servant or something like okay. that. It could, I, again, if this it, is Paul just throwing shit at the if wall. If there's a Paul secret message hopeful. that right. says it's okay to be a desirable lipstick lesbian, then I'm okay with that. Maybe that's what it is, a desirable <laughs> lipstick lesbian. <laughs> I'm always well, okay still, with that. They're still making everybody pretty and everything. Yes. They're not like, you know, like, mm-hmm. hey, you, put down that axe and... and, and Eat this box. Right. That's not the next Disney movie. Uh-huh. 
Because the sister put down that axe and <laughs> eat this box. Hi ho, wa- hi ho, <laughs> eat this box. It's been a while. It's been a while since I've seen it. Now, yeah, it's a frozen dinner right there. Uh, <laughs> I. Uh, <laughs> so, That's it for us, folks. <laughs> Go out on top. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> the one sister has the magic ice powers. What's the other sister got? I forget. Nothing. She doesn't have anything. No. She's okay. nice. So, That's her power. So right there. She's nice. She's right empathetic. there. Yeah. Right there. That tells me. Yeah. They probably weren't sisters from the jump. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. I like that. Yeah. I like it. Epi- uh, exhibit one. Exhibit one. Hey, yeah. you want you want me to concoct a wacky uh, conspiracy theory? Yeah. I'm your guy. Well, you I'm know. on it. My, my social seconds. liberal heart is like, oh, if it's, got, if it's saying it's okay to be a lesbian, I'm back in. Okay, good. As long as you, <laughs> long as you realize that's what it's about. And the moose, too. Moose, knuckles, hello. <laughs> oh, sure. That's testi- moose knuckles is testicles. No. Yes. Yes. Moose knuckles is testicles? Yes. yes. Camel, toe, camel toe. Camel toe and camel toe. moose knuckle. Camel I've heard toe. it both way. Camel toe is for women. No, moose knuckles very specifically is, is about your testicles. Is gender specific? It's about your testicles bulging through where the camel toe is. No, that's what I'm saying. Like, there's a camel toe and there's moose knuckles. Yes. Yeah. I'm agreeing well, with you. Well, you know what? I'm learning something. Everybody, bring it up wherever you're listening right now. Bring it up. Take a poll. <laughs> no, I'm sure. That, I'm sure that's it. I'm yeah. sure oh no, that's we've been right. talking about it just long enough. It's already out. Elsroth, Moose Knuckle. We have Elsroth and the uh, Whitakers are in the in the in, in studio. Yes, Moose Knuckle testicles requirement. Moose Knuckle, yeah, yeah great. Uh, in Australia, Moose Knuckles testicles, yeah. good. Okay, all right. I'm learning something. I um, I after uh, Scoop Fest, I saw uh, after SJ's performance with the band mm. uh, when she was in uh, human clothing. She still had like strap marks from her uh, costume oh, yeah. and from her, her shoulder. Princess Leia costume. And I gave her a little shoulder rub because I was like, "Let's be, let me be the creepy guy at the college party on SJ right now." Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, and uh, I started uh, doing the, the shoulder massage. She's like, "She's like, this feels nice, but you, I should be doing this to you. You're the one working her." I was like, "No, no, I'm looking at your shoulders and, they, and the strap marks. In, yeah, you could use you could use a little a little action, a little, a little TLC." Tension. Does a, and does she there... said, and she said, "Well, then you better fucking massage my vagina." <laughs> And uh, it was the second best one I ever gave. Hey, Go ahead. <laughs> frozen dinner. <laughs> she was wearing a superhero outfit that I was like, yeah, she was wearing a, a sexy Princess Leia outfit. <laughs> yes, it was amazing. It was like uh, that she already had, by the way. Yeah, uh, yes, yeah, yeah. She did not buy that for uh, for Scoop Fest. All, all people from Scoop Fest are uh, invited to share their photos at scoopfest.com. Yes, and so other people who missed out on Vest can go there and check out photos. So before well. you see the picture, to give you the mental image, yeah. imagine Padme Amidala's outfit when she's on uh, Genosis fighting in the in the big uh, uh, carnival. Done. Check, check, check. And so, uh, <laughs> and, and, and you remember when she's out there in the desert and she gets the the rip on the shirt and she gets sure. the belly exposed. Yeah, and everybody's yeah. like, "Oh yeah, all right." So just keep ripping. Good. And uh, then put on big black boots. And then imagine like, okay, I kept ripping to the point where it's just swimwear now, plus big black boots. And then, oh, I'm going to trick my hair out like I would my daughter with the buns. Yeah. There you go. And then, there, that's it. That's the look. It's SJ oh, costume. And, and blonde. Yes. That, that, so now you got the mental image. I feel like uh, her costume matched my costume of me in a bathrobe uh, very well. <laughs> we both were in white. You expressed regret that it was uh, a winter bathrobe that you I, brought. I did wear my winter bathrobe. You picked the wrong which robe. Which was a mistake. You picked the I wrong robe. Seasonal robes. Do you have a seasonal robe? Paul? I, I don't do. have. I don't have a robe. I have. I had one robe. <laughs> I, I don't know if I've brought myself to throw it away yet. Yeah. And got me many years ago. I think I've talked about this before. This this nice black robe. Yeah. But with the dogs, I can't wear it anywhere. Yeah. Because it just it would just it turns into a hair magnet of ridiculous proportions and doesn't make any sense for me to wear around. I've got my evening attire is uh, comfy loose sports shorts and t shirt. And uh, that it's that's all I need. I feel great. I was. Uh, I, I was... don't like to put clothes on when I get home. I want to take them off, throw on a robe, and I'm done. That's a nice. That's a nice route to go. I might yeah, yeah. Uh, invest in a robe that's perhaps less pet hair stickity. Uh, but I also have invested in. It's almost time when it's cool enough. Maybe two weeks from now, uh, when I can bust out all my fun long pant jammy shorts that I have bought. Oh, is it almost day. that time? It's almost long pant oh. jammy shorts. Oh. Oh, I long got a, jammy time. I got a fresh pair of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles long jam pant, 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 long pant jammy shorts. No pants. And I also got a uh, a pair of uh, Pokemon long pant jammy short 
But they got pockets. That's the key. So I can keep we shit. Gotta, we got to come up with a shorter word for what you're trying to describe. <laughs> Disagree. How about, how about pajamas? Disagree. <laughs> how about pajamas? Is that working? Pajamas. There? They're pajamas. Yeah. They're pajamas. It's almost time for me to PJs? get PJs. I get to wear my, my PJs. And, they're, and they're, wear. they're cozy. And I, I invested in a couple specifically this year. Invested. That were, that were pocketed. They're going to return. They're going to return that investment. Well, when you buy. Have comfort to your When you buy too. long, long sleep pant in August in. Las Vegas, yeah. you you are investing. You are you are a, you are a person who has at least some vision of the future because August in Vegas, you can't fathom wearing long pants to bed. You would die. What happens is when Paul went to buy those at, at like a Walmart, uh, the manager and the cashier, they all came out and just clapped for him. They're like, "Yes, <laughs> you That's have good. vision, sir. You are thinking ahead." That's right. Ladies and gentlemen, make way. This man is going places. Dun, da, da. And that place is the toy aisle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. I saw the, uh, I think I saw the finest Renade in action. Uh, 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 I've never been a witness to a beautiful Renade before. You saw yeah. one. I was a witness to a beautiful Renade. <laughs> I was, I was, this Renade was recounted to me twice. <laughs> By two separate people. I don't think whom, I've heard about this. One of whom was the actual runator. <laughs> All right, I'm excited. It was so great. So we were we were finishing out uh, Sunday night, and uh, mm-hmm. Penn came back. Penn came back from his show. Can I just say yeah. how gracious and wonderful he was yet again, like he was always great. at he our was... at our festival? He's so kind. He loves it. He does. He, he does. legitimately loves what we're doing and is proud of it. And I'm so happy that he's proud of it. Yeah. He he gave me the biggest compliment. He was there that night, and he was like, you know, what you guys are doing here, it's really beautiful. Just gathering people together, this is really beautiful. It's awesome. He says, and no jive. There's no jive here. This is a no jive situation. I was like, <laughs> God damn, that's a huge compliment. That is a huge – no jive is a big compliment. I, I was yeah. like, you got, yeah. you got the highest jive detector that I know of. <laughs> and, and if our thing is a no jive event, then yeah. we're on the right track, baby. Yeah. Yeah. It was uh, – yeah, and so uh, Penn, Penn uh, you know – uh, if you listen to Penn Sunday School, he's he's losing his voice, and he kind of can't take stuff for it because he's going to take this more long term medical. How approach. weird that he has hit the wall now. Yeah. Of all this time in Vegas, but he he said it's the same thing. Yeah. And he and it's it's across the board. You live in Las Vegas. Yeah. You're if you've had allergies any time in your life. Sure. Yeah. You'll be okay for about the first four or five years. Yeah. And then on that fifth or sixth summer. Yeah. It catches up with you for some reason. Well, it's well, been really bad right now, and then also the the weight loss and everything, like the body change and everything right. for him. Like that's that's got to be part of it. Well, it, I'm guessing that's probably well, part and, of it. I'm I probably mean, wrong. I mean, no, I, no. I just went through the same kind of shit three weeks ago. I've had, I've, and I'm still. You can still hear it. I woke up today, snotty. It's the worst respiratory shit I've had in probably six years. He used, to, you know, the thing is that he he had a heart. Scare thing, which was the initial thing that kind of created pushed that him thing. towards it. Yeah. So before the heart scare, he didn't. There was no heart scare, right? So, so he, if all of a sudden he was too jacked, it was just then it was just like eat a handful of prednisone and take a bunch of shit and ah. jack himself up. So he stuff would all the he time. would medically yeah zonk out the sinus action. Yeah, hardcore, he just didn't give a shit. But now just, certain medicines could threaten the no, heart he's situation. Trying to protect, yeah, he's trying to make sure he's got taking it, care of himself got more, it. and so that's why he's been a little more susceptible to it. Mm. Um, and uh, and so, you know, because. You know, as he goes through it in his book, it's it's more than just a weight thing. He thought his health was an inevitable thing. Right. So his life expectancy and stuff like that. So oh, the right. That, the fact that he actually found out that he could be possibly live live longer. He could do something about it. That he actually had power to do something to live longer and it wasn't this genetic destiny was a big was a big deal. Mm-hmm. And so he lost his voice. Um and he has to, he can't he can't do anything for it because he's getting he's taking all these different like test things by this allergy doctor and and so he couldn't take anything. And so he talked about after the uh, show, he went up to a group of people hanging out or whatever, and um, uh, uh, and was talking about how you know his voice was losing his voice. He and had mentioned to me that during the show, because he's, he's he left our show to go do yeah. his show, right? He, he mentioned to me during one of the bits, he had to restart eight times to get his voice yeah, right to him. get through it. Just had to, yeah, yeah. It was like, <laughs> and uh, and so um, there was one girl who was there who was not a scoop. But uh, a friend of a scoop, a friend of a scoop who was attempted to be obelisk. We'll see if it I, happened. I don't. I don't have my hopes up. No, I wouldn't have high hopes. Um, That's okay. Just to, <laughs> just for this person to be able to press play and stuff. I just feel like <laughs> I, have low, I have low expectations. <laughs> um, 
But uh, 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 she said, um, have you tried any alternative medicine? <laughs> and I was like, and that's why I was prepping that this person was not a scoop. Because <laughs> I, I wanted everyone to know. But there's just no way. The same thing happened at the Bucket Show last Wednesday. Is that, you know, we have, um, we're running like a locals promotion to get locals in here that have like theater passes and stuff. Yeah. And so um, there are people in here that haven't seen you or I before and don't know anything about the show or whatever. And so we were out there, Brent was out there doing pre-show. And then I brought up the fact that the set used to be Penn and Teller's bullshit set. And everyone goes, oh, Penn and Teller? Oof, I do not like them. Oh, no. And then the whole crowd laughed. And I was like, that's okay. Full disclosure, I work for them. I do this show with them. I do that show with them. Yeah. Like, just, just, just so we're clear. Uh, she ended up staying and having a good time at the bucket show. It was fine. But, uh, but it was very funny to have that girl say, like, yeah. uh, have you tried alternative medicine to the guy who just did nine seasons of bullshit? <laughs> Pretty silly. Um, and so uh, he goes, uh, he politely was like, no, I haven't. And she goes, oh, I'm, a, I'm a big believer in alternative medicine. And went started to go into it. And he just turned and walked away <laughs> <laughs> and beelined. And he actually just walked right up to me and, re- and told me exactly what happened. And then he said, I'm going to go. And then he left the whole place. Ah! <laughs> I now feel uncomfortable. Yeah. I'm leaving. He went. He went into a totally different room. I think he went outside. He went yeah, right yeah. Outside. He, ended up, he ended up hanging outside for a while. Yeah. But it was very funny. But I was like, oh, that was. It looked like a Renee when I saw it from a distance. It came up to me and it was explained to me. It was indeed a Renee. Yep. And it was really just beautiful to watch. It was a really well executed Renee. Very, very well executed. It was very, very mm-hmm. well done. Uh, which is again uh, of all the crazy costumes people did at the Jock vs Nerd Ball. Which I please, I hope everyone posts the pictures. We had unbelievable. Yeah. Uh, commitment happening. Ridiculous. Awesome, awesome costumes. Graham and Amanda did two costumes. <laughs> That's right. You guys were boxing uh, kangaroos. I saw that one. Yep, boxing Aussie kangaroos and yeah. also a pair of grizzly baristas. Oh, that's right. Mm-hmm. I did see both costumes. You guys just like sweating. Those weren't. You said one costume was lighter than the other. I don't see how. I don't see how that was actually the case. Um, so that was good. Um, I. Well, we ended up with what? Five grizzly baristas? Four? four, yeah, four grizzly baristas, amazing. Yeah, a cup of coffee. We had a we had a cup of coffee, grizzly baristas. We had um, what was uh uh, uh Joey and Jessica, Sailor Moon, Sailor Moon, Sailor Moon. Moon. yeah, it was Sailor Moon. There crew. was a huge Sailor Moon crew. Big Sailor Moon. Kate crew. was in that bunch too, which is great. It was nutty. Uh, Warren Rebecca, Moon, who I actually it? bought drinks for his commitment. Warren Moon. He was. Oh yeah, he was great. The guy wore a giant football helmet over his whole head and painted a face on his body to make the body the Warren Moon. It was awesome. And his and his butt was the jersey and so then moon good. on his moon. Yeah, so good. It was it was awesome. Feral Child, Feral Child, and a grizzly uh, and or a grizzly, grizzly, grizzly hanging grizzly. out without Feral, Feral Child was awesome. The winner was was uh, Dippin' Dutch Jack's parents. Mm-hmm. Yes, who dressed up like Jimmy Slonina. And his doll from AGT. So yeah, so uh, they were because I kept calling them Jimmy and Jenna at yeah, the party, yeah. and uh, I was corrected because it was the family friendly version of the doll. Yeah. So it was Jimmy and Judy. I wish they had come as the not family friendly version of the costume, but I'm fine with. Agreed. That. Amy and Carl fucking <laughs> killed. It. Next time, not family friendly people. They killed it. At, uh, come at, on. They were also really cool with my brother who was here uh, the whole time. Uh, from it was Austin, great Texas. hanging out with him. Yeah, I had, I had a, a fan because last time he was here, I didn't really get to hang out with him very much. Mm-hmm. I had a really good time hanging out with him. Yeah, John's the best. So Favorite Mattingly. He got well, <laughs> that doesn't take much. Doesn't take much. He got to come and spend the whole week, well, the whole weekend with us. He had a great time, and Scoops took to him like nobody's business. And, he and I started you know. uh, started talking about a new podcast. It's great. Oh, we're really well, there you about go. It. There we go. <laughs> we got, we got new options on the horizon, people. Yeah, but uh, I want to do a podcast with the other Mattingly. But, uh, <laughs> Matt, Matt and other Mattingly. Matt and other Mattingly. <laughs> but Amy and Carl were really Sorbet sweet. Social drove drove him around a bit here and there, and uh, and then Amy and Carl they um you know they they took John got him a shirt. He got a little shirt for Dippin' Dot. Yeah, he got a little a little uh, scooping shirt for Dippin' Dot, and then. Um, I gave him a bunch of the comic books that I'd brought for uh, having out there for the people to read and whatnot. Yeah. And th- they get home that night, and Dippin' Dot throws on his scooping shirt, grabs the comic books, runs in the bed, and he's laying there just reading comics with his scoop shirt on. It was too much. Oh, that's too much. so cute. It's that's adorable. so cute. Jimmy Stonina literally cried. Yeah. And, he, and, and, and it got me oh, all yeah. teary eyed, too. When the, when, the, when, the, uh, when the Jimmy and Jenna, or what was it? Who was it? Judy. Jimmy and Judy won, won the costume contest. 
first person front front and center was Jimmy Sunny taking oh, yeah. pictures on the camera, and he was he had tears in his eyes. Oh, I didn't realize he was going to be able to make it to the the scoop party that night. Yeah. And so as soon as I saw them, I snapped a picture of him and, yeah. and texted him over to Jimmy, and he was like, "I'm on my way." Right. <laughs> it uh, it was great. She stayed like a doll. She was dragged around oh, the whole party. Like you talked about Warren Moon's time. commit commitment. Yeah. yeah. I mean, her commitment was was yeah. solid. Yeah. And so we gave them. Uh, yeah. So we gave them. Uh, we gave them all of the sex toys I had taken from yeah. from, from Fifty Shades. I, t- I took every sex toy out of the closet, including the double-headed dildo. Yeah. They have all of it. I uh, really want to hear about TSA on their way back home. <laughs> please uh, please send in a scoop mail about the TSA experience on the way scoop, back home. Scoop Paul's drag race ended up with I... the uh, double-headed dildo. Yes. <laughs> oh, that's and true. Which, yeah. which, that is where it belongs. Scoop Paul was fucking hilarious. He yeah. it. He cracked me up it. all night. And McMullen's <laughs> after and everything. He was just I'm so bummed I didn't get to go to McMullen's. I think oh, I'll do you my should be. job. Yeah, I, I thought I was gonna go for ten minutes. I was there for an hour. <laughs> oh, that's adorable. I knew you'd be there for a while. Really you, wanted... you were there for an hour. That's cute. I literally said no to the first two people that offered me a drink. I was like, no, no. And yeah, I yeah. I just kind of walk around and then say goodbye. And I see. Just... I, I did. I took the different tact, yeah. which I, I planned on being there for about an hour. But well, then what... I said yes to the first eight people that offered to buy me drinks. Was, <laughs> was Darren there that night? Darren? Yes, Darren yes. was there. Okay, great. Because I know Scoops encountered him a couple of times there. That makes me happy because Darren and I go back. He's the bartender, one of the bartenders there at McMullen's. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and uh, we he go took back. Video to... of us yelling Scoop Fest seventeen. Oh, he fuck did the video. The oh, awesome. Yeah. yeah. Was... So we uh, we did Trek way back in the day, and I was a roommate with him. I stayed you were in his in house. Shush. I stayed in his house <laughs> for a long time, and uh, I happened to go a couple week months ago to go say hi, and he was there, and I said, "Oh, you should come out to Fifty Shades sometime." He never got back to me. He just showed up one night at Fifty Shades. It was one of our Kick Dick Wednesdays, and I and he, I see him walking out from the show, and I'm just like, "Oh, for fuck's sake! You oh, saw no. this show? This was Jeez, the one you were at. it was the worst." And, and you know, we shook hands. He was very, you know, kind and complimentary, but I was just like, "You saw I, this is terrible." He said, uh, "This is about what I expected, Paul." I, I mean, that's that's exactly what I felt like. <laughs> that's exactly what I felt like, and then I'm like, I feel I feel somewhat redeemed. Knowing that all the scoop showed up and uh, you yeah. know put on their their best face to say okay there is still something going on with my life besides a <laughs> a, a show that sometimes goes in the toilet on um, those days. The other thing that I wanted to make sure that we say today because it's been it, it feels like it's been so long since we did this the other day, but uh, we had our VIP uh, scoop fest event at Dave and Buster's. Yes, well, and uh, true. it feels like it's been about a month since we did that. It does it does feel that very was long uh, time ago. tomorrow? That's going to be a week ago. I <laughs> know, yeah. but it does. It doesn't so uh, that way. so we did that on on. Thursday night, and I just wanted to say, Dave and Buster's, the the staff, the venue, the food, everything was fantastic. Yeah. So if you if you have a moment, jump on Yelp David, or something like that and throw a throw a good review, uh, Dave and Buster's way. Make sure you say that you're with the with the Summerlin, Scoop group Nevada. And Dave and Buster's up at the uh, downtown Summerlin Mall location. Yeah, it's the only Dave and Buster's in Las Vegas. Yeah. So and, uh, uh, please please jump on there. Say something about the the Hay Scoops group, uh, Ice Cream Social, all that stuff. They really did and, a solid. Uh, and just, uh, just a waitress say even how good gave a were. scoop of phone number. So like that's how well it went. Right. It's yeah. true. It's true. That's how well <laughs> they got digits. How Scoops got digits. How what is that? Uh, what does that say? No, yeah. the David Buster's was my was. I, 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 it's hard to, dare I say, the most favorite part of the Scoop <laughs> Fest, but I really enjoyed. <laughs> it was good, right? Because well, that was the part that we weren't really working. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Which is we, the best part. We got to go and yeah. just enjoy, enjoy. David Buster's yeah, yeah. and enjoy people, the scoops. Other people were yeah. doing much more work. Yeah, I, it was it was super fun. I'm so glad we, I, I was 13 again at Aladdin's Castle. It was. I awesome. uh, took on all comers in ski ball. We should note that. We should note that I took Shut on all motherfuckers fuck down. Yep. I went 13 and two as a ski <clears> baller. <throat> boom. At the thing, and it wasn't proper ski ball. I want to say that for the record. Otherwise, <laughs> <laughs> I would have won all 15 games. Oh boy. It was giant golf balls, which are not ski balls. Yeah. And the lane was weird. A little different. A little different lane. But I'll take it. I'll take it. There you Uh, go. So then at the end of the night, all the scoops uh, collected all their cards and the points that they'd won. I have this. I'm saying this. I said it, and I'm saying it again with no irony, no wink. Yeah. No, no, I'm completely ingenuine. Not, no (laughs) disingenuineness. Okay. Paul Mattingly was the happiest I've ever seen him in my life. <laughs> I believe that's true. <laughs> I just looked over. Someone said, someone pointed, tapped me on the shoulder. I was in the middle. We were talking, um, we were all, actually, we were all telling threesome stories, which I was, I was, I was oh, not happy to be yanked away from right, that conversation. No, that's yeah. a good story. But uh, I was tapped on the shoulder, and someone said, like, you, you just have to see this. Yeah. And I went over, and it was Paul <laughs> surrounded by poop pillows. <laughs> oh. Paul had, like, four poop pillows and a poop hat on, a poop emoji hat and poop pillows. 
His face was beet red, <laughs> laughing and smiling. <laughs> and everybody was just surrounding him. And everyone was handing him the Dave and Buster cards. And we were pulling our tickets yeah. to buy uh, um, poop More pillows. Poops. Which, if you're if you're watching on Twitch, you can see in the background on uh, on Matt's camera there, yeah. uh, the fuck you in the face sign. Yeah, that's the fucking the face sign. Yeah, yeah. Out awesome. And that ended yeah. up being on stage all through Scoop Fest, but that was one of the prizes from Dave and Buster's. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was great. That was great. Mm-hmm. Um, so, uh, yeah, so that was, the, that was the happiest I've ever seen you, Paul. I, I was damn happy. <laughs> well, and, and so not only... Uh, before that, too, like you were playing that dumbass Star Trek game. When you described it to me, I was like, it can't be as bad as you described it. It's as bad as it's you described horrible. it. It's horrible. You're playing that the most... That is a horrible like, game. You're playing the most like carny trash Game where just the kind of like in, in, inevitable, it's like the tray that goes back and forth the, yeah, and has awkward, coins all on it. The awkward rake just shoving coins and cards towards the yeah. shelf. And, and so you you're just hope. dropping tokens down onto it <laughs> and trying to push more coins off of it. That's it. <laughs> it's just That's terrible. Dumb slow and gravity. Paul was surrounded by like five or six people just smiling and watching him play the dumbass game. <laughs> smiling, I believe I can safely say smiling politely. <laughs> smiling politely. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's, there's, not, like, there's not a lot to the game. Like if you happen to catch like a koala eating eucalyptus, you know, at a at a zoo. Yeah. Like you're like, okay. That's nice. This is what it's like when I'm not around. Yeah. This is, I feel like I'm watching, that's what people were observing Paul in his natural habitat. It's true. It's true. Like, this is what it's like to, to, to when Paul's not on. You got a window into what Paul's <laughs> life a, is about. There you also, go. That's a photo. It really is the happiest I've ever seen Paul. Yeah, I was, I was very elated. I was yeah. very elated. Yeah. Oh, Elsroth, really hold, really hold that up to, uh, hold that up to that camera right there that's pointing at you. There you go. Yeah, and, uh, people on, people on Twitch can see that. Can see just how happy I was. Get I closer. was, I was a little concerned for the poor DMB uh, workers behind the ca- the county the counter there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but they came through like champs. Yeah. Every yeah. every piece of that whole experience was just top notch. Yeah. And uh, I had a long conversation with the with the manager at the end of the night. Oh and yeah. Just, I just told her how how pleased we were and how and she's great like, can I give was. you my phone number? And you're like, yeah. And I was like, fantastic. Was she uh, was she for it, was she cool with our group? With oh yeah, they, they were they were thrilled. Of course, right. we would be cool. We brought yeah. ninety people. No incident. Yeah, I was gonna say. I mean, we're always that's the thing. We scoops always. We are. We ate a lot of food, but not an unreasonable amount of food. Okay. Yeah, they had to refill. uh, They had to restock the 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 main stuff on the buffet. I think once. Right. Yeah. And uh, so I mean, they they couldn't have been displeased with that. They just said, "All right, fatties, here's your next tray," and then was done. It was over, and they were like, "That's it." Uh, And then we had uh, we had our own servers that were kind of dedicated to our area, and uh, and yeah, they they were all very happy. Um, Well. Yeah, that... and like I and I went to tip at the end of the night because oh. we had you know we had we had we had paid half up front and we had to pay the, the second half when we were leaving at the end of the night. Uh-huh. And I went to to leave a tip, and she the the main server who had kind of been in charge of everything in our area even said uh, the scoops have been tipping all night as well, so don't feel compelled to leave like a full tip. Oh wow, wow, yeah, how nice. So Jacob pulled out what just enough to win. Uh, yeah, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> That's so cool. Um. And then I had the extra bonus that night. Besides being surrounded by all the awesome scoops, I also got to meet a couple of my personal heroes, the Player One podcast guys. Yes, yeah, so, I'm so happy they came out on uh, the VIP dinner night. Yeah, it was, was the perfect nice. night to have them introduced. Scoops were great with them. They were so cool. And, I mean, it was totally they were in their element. And, uh, yeah, Phil and CJ and uh, uh, Craig all hanging out. It was they're, so good. Yeah, and if you want to check – I don't know if they put up their Scoop Fest episode yet, but check that out. That's a good episode. It they, went up. they were very funny. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they're a hoot, and um, and and they're they're just a great listen anytime. Um, they are the nicest they, guys, but ball busting, it's great. They're and they're extremely knowledgeable. That's what I love about their podcast. Like, and and I'm getting that from the scoops that have been listening. They're like, oh, this isn't just Joe's game podcast. Yeah, this is four or five dudes, depending on the week you tune in, who have been working in games journalism and games production. For going on twenty years, yeah. So they know they've been there, they've seen it. Probably, you know, close to close twenty five years. And that's why you know people like to make fun of us for talking about parking and weather, but we have been parking in this town for ten years, and we have been living in weather for longer. Yep, and for, we're on it. Like, yeah, we like know even, the parking and weather of this town. Yeah, we've been we've been we've been out we've been outside. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know why people would give us the credit. Yeah. <laughs> so I that that moment with them was fantastic. Getting to uh, play ridiculous shooting games with Phil Theobald was highlight time for me. And then we also got to finally on Sunday hang for about an hour and play Splatoon 2. Oh, geez. On locally. the uh, Raspberry? On our, no, on our Switches. We all brought oh, Switches. Oh, you brought Switches? So we all got to play. You are nerds. There was five of us in a circle. It was great, man. It was great. A circle jerk of, Twitch, of Switchers. And I'll oh. say this. It Second was, worst circle jerk ever. It was uh, CJ and Ethan... 
versus myself and two other scoops. So it was three on two, and they were still kicking our ass. <laughs> <laughs> they are hardcore. They are hardcore. No doubt. No yeah. doubt. We won. We won one, or I think we won one of those games. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that I can remember. The rest, and and it was it was point. Two percent. It was crazy. Uh, we are on the latest that the came out on Tuesday. The Tuesday episode of Night Attack. Yeah, I can't wait to listen to that. <laughs> Holy shit! First off, <laughs> those guys were on fire. They were so good. They came out and they just came out and just knocked it. it out. They did not stop. They, they, did not they stop. hit. They hit the ground running and did not stop. It was uh, I such knew, good energy. I, I knew Brian. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Uh, since met, we've talked a lot. We talked a lot since he came in or yeah. whatever. Uh, Justin, I had met that day. Yeah. Wow, is he funny? He's, He's so great. funny. He's great. Yeah. He is so sharp. Yep. And so funny. <laughs> and like and then, I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. He's the Jacob of Night Attack. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say he was the Matt of Night Attack. Really just the glue that holds it all together. Yeah, uh, yeah. That's where I thought more Matt. Um but uh uh, uh, those two also were great eggs in the dressing room. Oh yeah, knocking back James, and they were wonderful mm-hmm. for that as well. Yeah, but that episode, I was just like, if it's it's, I would I I I I dare to say, just treat it like a bonus episode from us. Like it is just it's Paul great. and I sit in the middle of it, and uh, it was we all joked around without missing a beat. It was yeah, so fun. fun. <laughs> So fun, <laughs> absolutely. And I was scared. They played the, the the Brody. They call it the Brody game. Don't get Brody. Don't get Brody. Uh, where you go to tell a story, and if they're disinterested for a second, you're done. Right. And I was like, we're such a nice community. It sounds I mean, like that sounds like such a mean thing to do. It ended up being so funny. Yeah, yeah. Being, it ended up working out. Funny. Working there was out one. Great. There was one guy. I, I, he, he started to get his feelings hurt a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I was where I was down down running the the console and everything. Yeah, yeah, I was yeah. right by where the microphone was. Yeah. And I saw him because he got cut off. I think before he he even officially started his story. Right. Yeah. And uh, and then he was like, I I hadn't even started yet. I know. And uh, and they let but they let him restart. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. That's right. And then it was, it was all right with the but world that, again. But that's part of the game. It's like you got to just jump in. Yeah. Yeah. You learn how to start your story. Get it going. Right. But it was um, super silly. But they it. they gave a little credit or the, a little a little leniency since uh, since everyone there didn't didn't quite know the game. Right. Um. And then another episode of Ron. I don't think it's out yet. But I don't think so. On, we're on the next emotional hangs with uh, Kurt and Joe. I will not be listening to that episode. <laughs> <laughs> I think you'll enjoy it. Yeah. I, in yes. fact, it's, 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 it's heavy. It's not light. I mean, it's funny. Yeah. It has a lot of funny moments, but it, does, it is but emotional hangs. Yeah. The, first, the first half is very light. Yes. Yeah. 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 But then it, it, it gets heavier. And then mm-hmm. Paul and I get real heavy with each other. It and did. we had to like cry and hug and stuff. Yep. I'm not exaggerating. And then yeah. uh yeah, yeah. and then I also got I was, deep I was a little nervous on the over on the side of the stage when we got to that part. Yeah. Me too. I was just sweating. I was like, well, here is the end of my show. I, <laughs> I uh I I changed yeah, it. well, this, it's, it's been, been a good fun. run. <laughs> I changed We got it to, through three scoop fests. Okay. Yep. Because we were recording next, I changed it to a scoop fest shirt for our recording because I had sweat through my yeah. shirt. Oh. The, the shirt that I had worn oh. for Marshall Hanks was oh, drenched. Man. Yeah, I was flopped on because I did went deep with Paul and with Kurt. Yeah, right. So I went. Yeah, I went double deep. Yeah, you had double. You had, you you get it from two sides there. Yeah. I uh, uh, for those years for people who tend to cherish my more emotional side, you can go check that out. It's yeah. a very funny episode and it starts and ends funny. But man, mm-hmm. but the, Paul and I have to air some some grievances. Yeah, and some dirt. It's true. So you oh, that's that as well. and that's a good one. To to go watch on Twitch as well because yes. that one that one twitched out uh, twitch.tv slash hey scoops or yes. bucketshow.com either one they take you to the same place yeah and uh, that's a good one because you get to you'll, you'll get to see every, everything happen mm-hmm. yeah yeah but please uh, don't just watch it on Twitch make sure you go Down subscribe low. to uh, emotional hangs and to uh, night attack but I'm just saying if you want to see me cry you want to see me sweat yes. I get that I get that you can go to the bucketshow.com and uh, holy shit. I have not laughed so hard between Kurt and Joe both. Their oh, stand-up. their stand up at the end of the night. Yeah, good. Unfortunately, I don't Gravy. think their stand up is accessible right now. Okay, I don't either. Um, well, I mean, not not through our stuff. I mean, you can find them. Yeah, got, yeah, they've got specials. You like, can YouTube them. Yeah, or Netflix. Kurt just yeah. Do, Kurt Bronner, Joe DeRosa smashed. Kurt Bronner and Joe DeRosa smashed. What was great is Kurt so had, a, had a strong set. He opened. Joe started off making fun of Kurt, and also the lighting was weird. And so his first five minutes is a little, uh, yeah. a little touch and go. Mm-hmm. But he knew that, which I thought was fascinating. He's right. such an experienced comic that he just kept hammering away. And then he actually narrated that it was turning around. Yeah. And then he's like, "I'm gonna stick around more because we've, we've we've turned it around." Mm-hmm. Right. And then he followed through and just crushed it. Yeah, it was it was it was funny. Uh, Although where the three of us were sitting on the side of the stage, 
he had a very receptive audience with the three of us oh, yeah, for the yeah, whole yeah. first part. Yeah. That's what that's what we really Kurt enjoyed said, it making fun that's of Kurt. What Kurt, was, <laughs> Kurt was saying he's like he's like, like he was losing the audience making fun of Kurt, but on the side it was crushing. So yeah. like around me, I thought he was having a great set through the whole thing. But there, uh, there was a uh, crowd of five people on the side of the stage. Yeah, that, that just he were loving. Killed. Uh, I've never heard anyone imitate <laughs> Kurt before. So it was really really <laughs> it was great. Funny. So uh, um, uh, Joe DeRosa is going to come back to Vegas. He had such oh, a good time that he's like, I'm, I, he goes, I have a gig in Arizona. I want to book a gig in between Arizona and here and nice. come back here. So hey, we're, hopefully we can get him on the cast. Hopefully we're going to get him on the cast. He wants to come on the cast. He said yes to Beautiful. that. He wants you and I uh, to open for him. He wants Bucket Show to open for him. Get there out of town. There, yeah. Wow. I know. I'm a fucking thrilled. That's huge. Yeah, that's fantastic. I'm thrilled. Ah, baby steps, baby. Baby steps. We're baby getting there. Steps. Um, that's wonderful. What great news. So there's an elephant in the room for me. You want to talk well, about any of the other podcasts, is, Matt? Well, he needs to talk about the elephant. <clears throat> uh, we, it has a trunk. We, yeah. <laughs> The memory on that thing. The memory on that thing. I, uh, I, I kind of feel like I found out there's no Santa Claus. Oh, a little bit, a little bit. So one of the big swings we took for for Scoop Fest, which you know, is a learner for us as it is for any, for everybody else. Yes. You know? so like I invited Nick Vanderkolk from Love and Radio to come out here. He's not a live podcaster, not a comedy guy. You don't have to take full uh, full responsibility for this. We we invited. We were both encouraged for. Oh for yeah, yeah. It. yeah, we yeah. got down. We, we were excited about. We it. We liked yeah, the yeah. podcast. Yeah. We thought it'd be a good idea. And it was going to give us stuff that was you know pulled off the air, all this mm-hmm. other kind of cool stuff. Mm-hmm. And um, during his podcast, he started you know airing certain stuff, and then he started giving credit to actors. Right. And then uh, that was surprising to me because I thought I was listening to actual phone calls. Yes. And then um, even talked to him briefly afterward, being like, you know, hoping he would shed light on, like, whether it was just a recreation of exact conversation mm-hmm. or where he took liberties. And he said, like, oh, we listened to a few other – there's other real phone calls on it. We just thought it be really fun to write one. Right. And I was like, that was, that was not made distinct when I listened to it at the time. No. That wasn't made distinct when you played it for us here in the audience. And then, like, also they had Paul and I come up and read um, – <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, look Look how turned on he got just the second he started talking about this. Yeah. I started about a blood, went, porn. blood went right to the nose. Oh, yep. man. <laughs> it's like a nose fuck Paul Manley's butthole. Uh-huh. But we were brought on to read Slashborn. Yeah. The same Slashborn from that episode where we read as uh, Elijah Wood and Dominic, <coughs> Dominic Monahan. Monahan. Mm-hmm. And then even then, I, I was in the middle of that, and I was realizing, like, what if this isn't all her? Right. Like, it's presented if it's all her writing. Yeah, you know, and I was actually reminded of the Michael Moore documentary back when uh, the, uh, the Al Gore George Bush election or whatever. Yes. Um, yeah, which one was that? I forget which one, but it was one where they had Fahrenheit. The, 9/11. Fahrenheit. That's it. <laughs> they interviewed the, the South. Whenever when they interview the South Park guys on, mm-hmm. okay, right? they interview the South Park guys on, and then they play a cartoon. Oh, no, that was Bowling for Columbine. Bowling for Columbine. There you go. They play a cartoon of a bullet talking about guns in America. Yes, and the South Park guys were pissed because. People thought it was the South Park guys who wrote the Bullet cartoon since right. they were interviewed just before that right. that aired, and and that's what I realized. I was like, as soon as it, it put a seed of doubt into a couple of things I'd listened to, and then it started to put seeds of doubt into everything I'd listened to. Yeah. by him, yeah. and so like you now, and I had a, a, a long conversation about it that night. Yeah, and because uh, we were, we were both because I I think I can safely say Paul is not as as, as avid a listener of Love and Radio I've as, heard as Matt and I five are. episodes maybe. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but yeah, I mean, we're both really big listeners. I've listened to everyone since it's come out. Yeah, um, and went through their back catalog. Right, and uh, we were both really disappointed in with that knowledge. Yeah, it just it, there was. Uh, I don't know. I don't. I want to. I mean, I was happy to like. I said, "What is the theme of your podcast?" Is you do through so many topics. And mm-hmm. I said, "Morally challenging situations." Okay, you know, so I was like, "Oh, neat." So like, I was, a good I, theme. I was happy to hear that he had a journalistic through line that he liked that aspect of it. Yeah, I don't know if he felt the need. I don't know if he has the same priorities to make sure what's on the up and up and what's embellished is known to the listener, right? Mm-hmm. And knowing that I was taking it as a hundred percent on the up and up up right. until. That appearance. Am I foolish for thinking that? Because other people came up to me thinking that all of it was written mm-hmm. and all of it was. Performed. Oh, interesting. Well, maybe that's the thing. Maybe it's a conceit oh. that we were just unaware of. And I was like, maybe I just don't understand that. Mm-hmm. Right. But those people were less impressed, mm. thinking they were hearing a bunch of written stuff. Sure. And like, why aren't I getting more context about it? You know. Mm. So like, I I don't I don't know. And so for me, it just was. 
it's it's a personal experience for me to bring out someone I thought who was who had like this wonderful aesthetic and access to like these very unique stories, right? Um, and also there there also was this element of that Paul, you and I being brought on to read the slash porn, yeah. As I tried to read it with no wink, right? And I believe you did it as well. Yeah, you and I tried to just read it, mm-hmm. and I think. Did you feel like we were being presented to put like a comedic exclamation point on the presentation? By the end, me too. And I didn't, I didn't like that. Huh. No, I know, but it you don't make even... it, it didn't make any sense. In other words, like the whole episode, what it is is like it takes you down this journey of fan fiction, and as soon as you want to laugh, then all of a sudden you find out this person is a molestation victim, and then all of a sudden they find out that they cope with it mm-hmm. by using slash fiction. Mm-hmm. You know, the whole. As do many, and, and that's a, and we found out by talking about it on our podcast mm-hmm. that's common. Many uh, victims of, of sexual crime will find uh, slash fiction as, as, find a, as a sexual a, outlet, a as, a, as a functional safe yep. sexual oh, outlet. Oh, interesting! Mm-hmm. So the fact that we were being asked to read it, yep. I left that episode with that in mind. So when he asked me to read it, I was like, I want to. I don't care if we make the people in the audience. You're trying uncomfortable. to do justice to it. Yeah, right. I was like, from my perspective, I want it to be like a artistic thing, and then I was like, if 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 he thought it was going to be a comedic thing or a fun thing at the end, then I, that was disappointing to me as well. I don't know. It was odd. Anyway, uh, odd. Uh, you, you Uitar, Uitar, however you say this name yeah. on uh, the the Twitch chat. I yeah. uh, haven't listened to Love and Radio, but if their theme is morally questionable scenarios, maybe they could do a podcast about their podcast. <laughs> Heyo, <laughs> uh, Zingo. Uh, yeah, no, that was that was de- definitely a, a, a disappointment. Yeah, to me. but what do we have? Forty plus hours of entertainment and fun. Oh, I'm to not, have to oh. have an hour and a half that didn't shine as bright as we'd hoped. I, right, I know. Yeah, but if if one thing's got to go wrong, let it be some other podcast. <laughs> 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 I'm cool. With Better that. than me. I was funny as fuck. What do I care? Well, not only not, hey, only, not hey. only that, but that you know, fuck them. Like, like Hickory Dickory Dock. I promise the yuck this podcast sucked. <laughs> It's the one that's furthest removed from the community. Yes. It's the one that none of us had any super hardcore vested. Uh, I mean, we all had, we oh, had fandom, yeah, no, but if not. Kurt, if, Kurt and, if Kurt's podcast had not gone well, his stand-up had not gone well. Right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I would feel off. Right. He's one of my closest friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that oh, and, and, I was, and I was desperate to make sure the Player One guys uh, had, a, had a good time. Yeah, and, and, yeah, yeah. And, yeah, and yeah. had, you know, a good showing and, yeah, and all yeah. that kind of stuff. And, and that was all great. And yeah, then... Yeah. And then that was the only S- moment that SJ I Actress is on the chat right now pointing out it was also noon in Vegas and everyone was hungover. That is a big part of it too, but not totally. I don't because... think that affected the show at all. Yeah, no. I'm not. I that th- th- he noticed that and everything else, and I think he. I felt bad at that part as well. He he like skipped something to like move it along kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, 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 that's not what I'm talking about. No. Uh, regardless of the situation, I mean, yes, next year the amount of noon program we're going to do will be less. Yeah. Uh, uh, Possibly none. <laughs> yeah. Possibly uh, 100% less. 100% yeah. less. Yeah. Uh, uh, but, yeah. uh, but, but well, we got we to get him in there at some point. We'll figure it out. But yeah, I, know, yeah. I know, I know, I know. No, it was, it was funny. We, we got to, it's, yeah, I don't know. We'll talk, but we'll I figured it out. It might need a day. Uh, so, um, <laughs> But uh, it was just it was it, it just was that like as I listened to the podcast I was like oh that the revelation of it coming to me and then him right. not wanting to be up and up even in the private thing yeah. you know he made, he allowed no recording and everything like that yeah I thought that was going to be a place for him to be more candid about stuff and instead yeah it, was it wasn't was there was nothing to... there was nothing that shocking and the fact that he ended with a podcast I've listened to five podcasts and I heard twenty uh, percent of the one podcast I've I've heard yeah and I was like oh okay. exactly yeah so greatest hits <laughs> yeah yeah you know what we got. We got eagles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. So that that that's the only thing that was weighing on my mind. But uh, it wasn't on Twitch or anything, so you don't have to worry about it. Yeah, there you go. He but was, he was perfectly entertaining if you came to it kind of in the dark. Get on the mic. Get on the mic. Okay, not only okay. It was perfectly entertaining if you came to it kind of completely in the dark. You're wrong. Sit down. Do you need to announce how Kurt Braunholer is your best friend again or something? <laughs> ah, man. This is this this theme is not ending. This is this is Burn Matt Week. The instant smack back. Too of good, scoops. too long. <laughs> too good, too long. No, uh, this so is that, the, I was like, now that now this is out, I'm gonna put that. It's fine to smack back at me. It just has to be funnier than the last thing I said. <laughs> uh, if it's not funnier, it doesn't help the podcast at all. You might win. 
And I will tell you that as I teach him all my comedy class I'm about to teach tonight, comedy is rarely about winning. Right. So you guys can smack me back. The hardest, most frustrating thing about if you listen to the Scoop Fest podcast, I get smacked left and right. I have just have no idea what anyone's talking about. <laughs> I, it's not that I I will gladly get smacked down. <laughs> I just don't, like elsewhere at least I understand what he's saying that yes. I'm name dropping Kurt Bronneler <laughs> right. which of course to everyone listening is like name dropping who but <laughs> I, uh, wait, did you and Kurt meet at Star Trek The Experience or anything <laughs> yeah, or? we did we were dressed as a uh, uh, we were dressed as Star Wars. We were both embarrassed. Uh, dressed, dressed as Star Wars, everybody. You heard it here. We were dressed we were both as in our Star Wars. Finest Star Wars garb. I was one of the wars. He was another war. Together we were Star Wars, which is really just it's Star costumes with guns. Yeah, <laughs> dressed as Star Wars. Oh, that's a good costume. Be, be dressed as a star, but in like fatigues. But I do like what 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 Mike is saying there. It, it, it was still fine. Like yes, as much as we were disappointed, it was still oh, fine. It wasn't, it wasn't bad. No, yeah, and yeah. I think and I think the thing is that that everything else was so awesome. No, no, that's I'm, part of it yeah, too. I am talking as a fan of the show. I'm yes, not talking right. about an experience of the show he presented. Feel I'm you. talking about as a fan of the podcast. Right. Yeah. As a show, it was lovely. It was perfectly fine. It was fascinating. Yeah. It was intriguing. And it left questions, right? So like you could argue that he is like a welcome to the gift, welcome, or walk through the, what? Walk through the gift shop? Welcome to the gift shop? Uh, ex- exit, exit through the, the gift shop. shop. Yeah, one of those. And uh, 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 exit through the gift shop type of performer where you might, he, he leaves questions yes. about right. reality, right? Yeah. That's, that's all fine. Was and that good. even him? <laughs> right. That is that hundred percent could not he have totally, been. Nick he totally banksied you. <laughs> that is a, that is easily possible. There you go. That was it's actually Banksy. Possible. Yeah. Uh so that's all possible, but it just was uh that that's all that's all I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. Right. Um all right, should we get in a little scoop mail? Yeah, we should. Oh, that's physical scoop mail. What? Physical scoop that's mail. impossible. Zippity do. We got Our, mail we in got the box. So much I love it. Scoop mail. Uh, yeah, we got some physical scoop mail here this week. Uh, one of which was supposed to uh, get open before Scoop Fest. It has been in our mailbox since uh, Friday. It is now old fried chicken. Yes, uh, I got the I got the notification <laughs> that this was in our mailbox on Friday. Edible Scoop gram, Fest. Uh, edible gram or not edible? Still good, still good, still good. Sister. Still fried chicken expert over there. Uh, so yeah, so I just didn't have time to go to the mailbox to, to pick this up during Scoop Fest. Uh, so do you uh, eat fried chicken when you're here? Yeah, we went to it once. But a KFC? Yeah, yeah. Just to like, did it taste different Just in check America? It out. Yeah, it's it's it's. Is that why you went, or you're like, I need it? I need. I'm having a mental breakdown. I need a taste of home. No, no, I wanted to compare. You wanted to compare, and then What's I the broke difference? down afterwards. And <laughs> <laughs> what is what is the difference between Aussie and, and uh, US uh, KFC? I believe it's the oil. Okay. Oh, and okay. also like, the menu. We don't have biscuits because biscuits are bloody what butter and. Flour. I don't know why you say that dismissively. For me, there's only one reason I go to KFC, and it's for the biscuits. It's the biscuits. Yes. yes. Yeah. They are good. Yeah. Biscuit with some gravy. Right. Yeah. Bit of butter. Yeah. But we just not... we do French fries. I got French you. fries is a big thing. Okay. With okay. the meal. Oh. Do you have any kind of no. carbohydrate bread type of thing? Uh, you can get like a little bread roll. The bread roll. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So okay. All right. Rod Stewart. Rod Stewart's representing. <laughs> there you go. Uh, Rod Stewart's bread surrogate was at the uh, was at Scoop Fest. By the way. Oh my god. Did you Good like stuff. or not like? Did you do you like Australians fried chicken better? Yeah, it's a bit easier to eat a bit more of it. Gotcha. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. The the stuff over here gets to you pretty quickly. <laughs> sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> it's yeah. heavy. Yeah. Fair. Fair enough. <laughs> Uh, so the um, we we got a, a package here from I like Martin. The idea of describing fried chicken as gets to you quickly. Yeah, <laughs> that's. But it, you know what he means. I do. I do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm curious if you try like if you tried Popeyes. I'm curious if you try like a competitor out here. You like Popeyes, Raisin Canes. There's a out of Bally's. There's a, a blue ribbon fried chicken. Oh yeah, that's some good fried chicken. Popeyes R- is good. Popeyes generally is considered better than KFC here. Yes. There's so much fast food over here. I don't think I can ever try <laughs> everything. Oh, Every sure. time we come, we like, oh shit, we got to try that. Oh shit, we got to oh, try that. Yeah, and uh, whatever the uh, uh, David Buster's night, people were like, oh, I, I still haven't gone to White Castle. Is the White Castle open? And I was like, don't. It's not worth the trip if you Phil, happen. Phil by did. It. Phil Phil made a special trip just to get to the Castillo to go get, Blanco to go hit old, old Castillo Blanco, <laughs> and he was not disappointed. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. I well, still haven't been. Enough. I still haven't been. I still haven't been either. But I mean, the thing is, I ate rare and appropriate now, so it's like I don't want to be like, okay, rare and appropriate, Sarah. Let's go to White, White Castle. Castle. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't. I don't want to pull that trigger. 
Uh, let's see. So we have a we have a package here from Martin who does the Fatty Rabbit Hole game. Uh, you can uh, check that out, fattyrabbithole.com. Oh man. Let's see if I can Guys, hold that up. There we go. This game is awesome. Yep, good. Inspired by all the ICS inside jokes. It's ridiculous. Yeah. It may be coming to iPhones. It should be and soon. iPad soon. But he sent us a whole bunch of coasters to oh. uh, Fatty Rabbit Hole coasters to give out at Scoop Fest, which, uh, like I've already said, I did a bad job of. <laughs> so we're going to be giving these out at, uh, at Bucket Show, um, and yeah. uh, I'll probably start throwing some in with uh, with some Scoop uh, Scoop swag as it goes out to people yeah. as well. Uh, so if you go uh, heyscoops.com slash swag, uh, you'll probably start getting seeing some, uh, some of these coasters included in there as well, which are yeah. very cool. Yeah. So that's that. Great. I've got another thing here, and this is from the Didgeridouche. All right. <laughs> Hello, gentlemen, and I use that term loosely. <laughs> it took me a while to get this to you, but when it comes when it comes to press, uh, procrastination, I'm the best. I'm still drunk, sorry. Uh, Matt, <laughs> even though it was once your nickname, the Caribbean jerk is for Paul. He mentioned it twice that it's his favorite sauce, so there you go, what? Paul. You got straight sauce for me, son? Oh, man. <laughs> I gotta tell you, uh, you know Steve, what Paul's gonna put it on? Nothing. No, I'll He's tell you. Drink it. The uh, the wife and I. Wow, that's the real deal. Oh, we got uh, buffalo wild wings. Buffalo wild wings sauce. Oh, that's so great. Yeah, look at that shit. That is some that is some solid stuff there. Uh, the wife and I, we uh, had a couple of evenings, the previous week free. Yeah. And one of the nights we went and hit up BW threes. Um, it was good time. When I uh, finished, I did a little rehearsal with Brian Brushwood and uh-huh. uh, and RJ. Yeah, uh, for 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 Hillbill, and uh, I was gonna, I was driving Brian back to to his little area, and I said, "Let's grab lunch and talk podcast stuff." And he saw Buffalo Wild Wings in the distance. He goes, "Oh, Buffalo Wild Wings! Let's go there. We're going there. We're going there." And I was like, "Oh, okay, great." And of course, uh, Brian Brushwood, a guy who likes fire and gore, had got himself some very hot wings. The super nice. hottest, some super hot, nice, fucking crazy ass hot wings. Uh, Jacob, you mentioned before that you like uh, habanero, so the mango habanero is for you. Thank you very much. All right. I also included a bottle of our limited time sauce, which is mango habanero barbecue mashup. Jesus, it was just very good. Wow. I will be uh, keeping that one. Okay. Uh, I'll be keeping both of those actually. Matt, being a vegan, I wasn't sure what to send you, uh, so I did some research and realized that Chipotle barbecue should work well on garden burgers or other grilled veggies. So when you uh, do have a burger once in a while, put this on it, and you'll never uh, you'll never have one without it. Oh, wow. Great. Thank you for the research. I was expecting a punchline like a kick in the dick, but no, it's just actual love. Yep. I'm not used to it. Uh, Jacob, did you get the email link that I sent you with the Paul Simon didgeridoo song? It was the one you mentioned when you played Bohemian Rhapsody. Uh, No, I did not. (laughs) Uh, Business meeting. Or maybe I did and just didn't see it. (laughs) So uh, Jacob at Hey Scoops, uh, please send that to me again. Uh, I've also included an old school jock versus nerd in the other envelope, so hope you enjoy fucking you in the face until the innocence leaves your eyes. The didgeridoosh. Didgeridoosh. <laughs> until the innocence leaves your eyes. That's a good side off. <laughs> oh. Yes. So Nailed it. <laughs> until the innocence leaves your eyes. Oh, uh, we got one here from Chris. Hey, lads. Chris here, the taller of the two behind the bar on Sunday night. This is one of the bartenders from Tyranny's Tavern. Oh. Uh, not Tyranny's Tavern, from um, McMullins. McMullins. Uh, just wanted to follow up and say that Darren and I, and for that matter, the whole McMullins family, thank you for choosing McMullins for your after party on Sunday night. Hope you all had a great time. We were a bit overwhelmed for a moment, but everyone was understanding and what appeared to be in great spirits, pun intended. See you down the road, Chris. Aww. Wow, what a nice uh, follow-up email. This, yeah. this is what scoops do. Yeah. They get bartenders to say thanks for coming. <laughs> That never fucking happens. And it happened Virtually last year impossible. Too. Yeah, right? Last year, Isn't the bartenders that? at Window Showroom could Is not stop talking crazy? about this gig. Yeah, the bartenders at Window Showroom. Well, the Window Showroom, we're sad we weren't doing it there again. Their yeah. li- those bartenders, their lives are marked by pre- and post-Scoop Fest interactions. <laughs> <laughs> they, they speak of that night like the bounty harvest of the first Thanksgiving. They're like, you don't understand. Well, they-, they came with... Money and they they placed tips for every drink, every drink, <laughs> and they drank. Oh, they drank, but they were not mean. They no, were nice. No. They were calm. And they, they were drank. calm and polite. And if you had to do something, they let you do it, <laughs> and then come back and serve them. They were not the priority. We were the priority. <laughs> when they asked, 
when they asked if we were coming back, I felt like I was telling them that like dad didn't just go out for cigarettes. Right. You know. Yeah. I was like, this this Oh. Daddy's not coming back, guys. I'm Fuck. So sorry. Yes. <laughs> a whole thing of Caribbean <laughs> jerk. Dude, Dude you're a saint. Right yeah. This is Dust awesome. Dust it up. Dust it up. This is awesome. I'm going to be dipping my White Castles in this. Because oh, yeah? I still do the frozen whiteies. Yeah. Oh, frozen whiteies on that this is going to be aces. That's gonna beyond be aces. disgusting. It's going to be aces. That is. I. What? <laughs> Every time I think I could have less respect. <laughs> <laughs> Don't don't try That's and respect horrible. me. Don't try and respect me through my food choices. It's horrible. <laughs> you'll, be, you'll be fucking disappointed. Here's last night. Ann and I got to go to a buffet. What what do you think my main buffet treat was? Oh, this oh. by the way, again, this, I want to go to a restaurant where the menu plates would be what you put on a buffet plate. <laughs> you know, like. Okay, look, you want me, uh, you want me, you want me take you want me walk you through what's yeah, on my yeah, plate? Yeah. I want to do because like I was like I was thinking restaurants would offer what people put on their plates for buffets. Right. As here we go. You, you want to go. go to a place where you have like yeah. some some crab legs yeah. next to some homemade tacos. Yeah, next, next to, to a, a slice of pizza. Yeah. To like some Korean Korean like short rib. Here's what know, I got. Here's what I got. It's some bad sushi. <laughs> Slice of turkey. Slice of turkey. Slice of turkey. Slathered in cranberry sauce. Okay. Oh, my, you're so weird. Stack of mashed potatoes. Okay. Smothered in cottage. Cottage cheese. Cottage cheese? What? The best combination in the world. I've... Oh, God! <laughs> it is my favorite combination since I was like two years old. My intestines are getting angry with me right now. <laughs> Cottage cheese and mashed potatoes? My favorite thing. Like, really my favorite thing. That that is since the... I was a baby. That is like, I would assume you were pregnant if I saw that happening. Well, I, it hasn't been disproven. Could just be a long gestation period. <laughs> I'd be happened, really it happened happy. to Arnold. I'd be really happy if another me pops out when I expire and just takes over from here. Uh, but then, uh, yeah, I'm looking at the message board, what is wrong with you? <laughs> what? This is nuts. Just a dot dot dot. <laughs> Someone saying and done. They're out of here. No, all right. All but, scoop of Steve said was ah. We're not done. We're not done. <laughs> then, also on the same plate, bit of fried rice and sweet and sour chicken. Yummo. And to finish it all off, three hush puppies. Oh, well, that part I like. That part is okay. Those hush puppies are really yeah. good. That actually sounds like a. Uh, every, you know, there's only one thing standing out as what the fuck, but everything else sounds like you would actually get that on a I party. ask you, please don't judge until you've tried mashed potatoes and cottage cheese. That's gonna be, I can't agree to that. I no. can't agree. I will never try it. I know that part. And, and I'm definitely going to judge. And I'm certainly going to judge. Yeah. I'm oh, I so judge. love it. I so love it. Oh, man. It's just my favorite thing. Just all of it. Oh. SJ actress eats eggs with mustard. See, I'm, I'm not. I'm just not a know. mustard guy. Ugh. Oh, uh, I, Matt and I. I don't know if we can talk about the outing that Matt and I are about to go on in a, in a few days. Can we talk about know. that? We can. Okay, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Uh, but Matt and I are going to go to a baseball game in a few days. Yeah. And uh, I am really looking forward to the stadium mustard. Oh, oh nice. Yeah, the yeah. the huh? mustard at the stadium that we're going to is famous, like. Um, a, among other stadium mustards, a scoop, a well-connected scoop, has offered Jacob and I tickets to see a playoff baseball game. Ooh. Yeah, Ooh. and we're very excited about nice. it. Yes, yeah. um, and so uh, 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 I cannot wait to go. Yeah, it's going to be exciting. Paul, we assumed you did not have any interest in going. Well, I probably, I, I would, I would have gone. It would be oh, yeah. fun, but I'm swamped right now. Yeah, right. This is the next week. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No way. I, can, yeah, yeah. I, I, I doubt I could get away. Um, on the good, uh, good news, I t- told you uh, it's very likely. Uh, I thought it was going to be Mondays off with this job. It's Sundays. Oh, good. Oh, and, good. And I'm trying to make Wednesday my other one, so yes. we shouldn't have a problem with that. Perfect. Makes you working seven days a week. I know. We'll look into it. We'll figure it out. But for temporary purposes, but only I love f- it. Right only there. for like a month. <laughs> That's only thirty straight days of working. Hint: Your lips to the devil's ears. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta, go, I gotta go pee We're so bad right now. Okay. <laughs> okay. Good. Good. Well, we should have talked about the baseball game now. Paul's out of the room. Yeah, this is the time to talk about baseball. Now we can now we can talk about that even worrying about inviting. Oh, actually, hold on. I'll scroll down to a different scoop mail that I have too. Uh, okay. Let's see. Um, oh, here we go. From uh, from Sarah. Salutations, you purveyors of facial fuckery. I need your assistance in trying to do a good deed. There's a couple on our street who both proudly advertise their favorite football teams with large flags on the house, <laughs> custom license plates on the cars, and lawn decorations. Uh-huh. The problem is that they don't root for the same team. One is a Cowboys fan and one is a Redskins fan. Oh, even same division. Oh, that's, that's tough. weird. I uh, mean, it's easy lately. The Redskins fan is just the submissive. Right, sure. 
for the last 10 years. Yeah, like I have uh, I have a couple of cousins, or in-law, in-law cousins, I guess. Uh, one is a Cowboys fan, and one is a Chiefs fan. Yeah. But the Chiefs and the Cowboys don't really... Yeah, they they yeah, don't yeah. have anything going on against yeah. each other, so they don't care. No. Uh, I don't know if it's related, but they've gotten separated and gotten back together more than once since we've lived in the neighborhood. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's connected. Oh, it's 100% that is certainly connected. I don't even mean to say that, like, I'm sure it's not the issue. It's more like a sign that, like, they're going to butt heads. I'm going to say it's the issue. No, because <laughs> here's the thing. I'm a huge fan of the Giants, but I don't I don't have a decoration I put out on my lawn. Right. I don't have the customized plate. You know, so it's something about the personality yeah. that they have to, like, live they're advertising. in that space. You know what I mean? Right. So, like... I got behind a truck last night that uh, it made me happy, but I had the same thought. It was a Saints truck. Yeah. It had four different Saints decals on the back window. Yeah. It had the Saints uh, license plate frame. Yeah. And then the, um, the the license plate itself was a personalized license plate that was something like, uh, you know, who dat or, or yeah, you know, yeah, something, yeah. something along... It was something that phonetically spelled out who dat. Yeah. And I was like, that is um, a much more... De- oh, and they had um, the, the hitch cover as well. They had a, a yeah. Florida Lee Saints hitch cover. And I was like, that is a much more dedicated fan than I will ever be. I remember I was dating this girl, and we were at Tierney's Tavern. And we were supposed to go to the dinner after get off my Sunday shift. Yeah. And it was ended up... Uh, it was game seven of Red Sox-Yankees. Okay. And back in the early 2000s. Yeah, what a good series that was. And it was the Aaron Boone shot. Yeah. Win, right? Sure. The bar goes fucking wild. I am jumping up and down. And we just stay in the bar to keep watching the game. Yeah, sure. And literally, like, in the middle of the cast, she's like, can we go to dinner now? And I was like, you don't understand moments. Yeah. And no. Also, no, we can't. To be in, like, an amazing, like, screaming bar during a a -a once-in-a-lifetime sporting event is one of the best feelings a jock can have. Just respect it, at least. Well, and just, I mean, there is a moment. Like, even if you don't care about the cause of the moment, Yeah. enjoy the moment. Yeah, you're still in a room full of people screaming and going nuts. Yes. Something has happened. Right. Like, yeah. I mean, Dave and Buster's the other night. Yeah. I'm not a big video game guy. Right. Thoroughly enjoyed the, the moment and, you know, the, the camaraderie and everything. You're you know, certainly not a big Connect Four guy. Certainly not a big... You know, oh. <laughs> Matt, Matt beat me twice at Connect Four. <laughs> at, at giant Connect Four. Giant I forgot Connect about Four. that. The giant display. I figured you were going to channel that out of your memory real fast. Yeah, I did. I didn't see that. There's a giant Connect Four that like, everyone can see you play. Do you yeah. use big chips that you actually... Fix? No, it's all virtual. electronic. It's virtual. Yeah, it's, 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 it's a giant virtual. wall yeah. of yeah. Connect Four. Very cool. It was very fun. Pretty sneaky sense. Uh Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I went to uh, fuck. What's the name of that acapella group? Uh, Which pen- one? Pentatonics. Pentatonics. Okay. I went Pentatonic? to a pen- Pentatonics concert with my wife. Yeah. I'm gonna repeat that. I went to a Pentatonics concert with my wife. Okay. Uh huh. I respect my loved ones and, and, and things that make my loved ones enthusiastic. Yes. Okay. A friend of mine called me without my wife. Yeah. The price is easily over $1,000 to pay me to go to a Pentatonix concert. Yes. <laughs> it's, only gone, it's only gone up since I went. You, I, oh. See, I, I, I'm, I'm a big fan of acapella, so I would enjoy you it. Should have gone oh, my, <laughs> you should have gone to the thing that I went to last night. Because <laughs> I went and saw Sound Collage last night. Oh. oh I, I, no, I saw that. I said, no. That's the worst no, name of an event ever. No, 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 no. I, I no, there was. I saw video. They were four no. very. They were four extremely talented people. No. I went with. The, I went with a friend who who no. asked me uh, if I'd if I'd go with her. They're, they're, Pentatonix has five. They were that's, they were that, extraordinarily I think a, talented. I think that's important. Three women and one guy. The guy does a lot of beatboxing, and he, he does a lot of yeah. He does a lot of that stuff. It's just. I'll tell you the crowd. It was at it was at Smith Center. The crowd that was there loved it. Let it go. 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 Let it
<laughs> no, the crowd that was there, and I want to make sure I say this because I, I think at least one of them uh, is, is starting to listen to the show. Yeah. Uh, the crowd that was there absolutely loved it, and uh, and and for the crowd that was there that really that was really into it, uh, they were very good. And I and I can recognize that they were four very talented people doing okay. doing this thing. Uh, boy, is it just not for me? <laughs> it's just not for me. It's just not my thing. That's the thing. No, uh, uh, I it is my ignorant brain. Yeah, there's not anyone else. Yeah, my ignorant brain slam poetry. I mean, the, cannot for a moment. So much of what they were doing, I can recognize and say that is impressive yeah. and extraordinarily difficult to do. Not my cup of tea. Right. Like, I don't know the difference between good slam poetry and making fun of slam poetry. I could not tell the difference in the wild. Yes. It's, that's, that's, I can't that's do a, it. That's a hard And that's on me. Out. But no, I can, if that, I'm in the room for it. That's oh. pretty tough to figure out anyway. So same thing. Yeah. When I was at the Pentatonix concert, first off, my wife and I were the oldest people there for like 15 years. Oh, no. It was just a young kids love them, which I get. I get. I oh, get, is that I a get. kids thing? Yeah. And I like okay. the, you know, the sound of the thing. And it is. There is a prejudice in me. Because sound collage. I was the youngest. I, we were the youngest people there. <laughs> sound collage. Yeah. Just, like, I'm trying to think of like, like a comedy kit or something. Like <laughs> collage is like the worst word for like a collection to come see something. If if you are listening, it might not be the best name. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't, sound collage sounds like something like a teacher would put together. For I feel students. like it. I feel like it, it does not accurately uh, demonstrate what they are. Yeah, because what they are is much more impressive than what the name makes it sound out. Sound Whereas when that. I went to Talent Basket last night, <laughs> <laughs> that was the show. Now that, now that, you gotta go. You gotta, you gotta, sure. you gotta see Talent Basket. Talent Basket. I guess you Talent gotta, Basket. Gotta, so what go. Sarah, what Sarah says here Wait, is, aren't we still at war with the Talent Basket? <laughs> <laughs> Why are we still in Afghanistan, no, no, guys? No. You can't be at war with an idea, Paul. The Talent, the talent I, Basket. I the Talent Basket ended up being fairly. Elected as a political party, <laughs> it's really now. It's not just ICs. I just heard it's the ICs that were. Uh, well, but those ICs cost a lot extra when you go see Talent Basket at a concert. <laughs> like oh, four, four dollars at a movie theater, I'm okay. But you know, how much are you going to charge me for these ICs? <laughs> yeah. Scoop of Steve mentions uh, kind of like telling the difference between expensive modern art and garbage. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I'm not. It's not for you. It's not yeah. for me. Ryer and I had a whole conversation about uh, art the other day, just about how like how it's just a, a big money moving scam basically for wealthy people oh yeah. because they they buy a piece of art the people that they then buy the piece of art from the the these museums money. have boards yeah. yeah and the board so like you, you pay ten thousand dollars for a piece of art yeah. then the board at the museum dictates that piece of art is now worth ten million dollars then you turn around and take that piece of art and donate it to a museum and it's a ten million dollar tax write-off there you go Wow! Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, no, I've, on this. I've known about this for the for board a while. Get, the board gets a little cut. That's how. Well, they, the board they... gets the ten grand yep. up front that you that you pay for the piece of art. Yep. And then they help you out on the back end with your tax write off. There you go. Oh yeah, hate scoops. Need to start. Buy, we need to start buying art. We I just was need just going to gonna say that. We just need yeah. to open a gallery. Forget or we buy, can open we're, we're recording in one. As I forget buying art, let's just be those middlemen. Yeah. Right. Oh, the guys who actually move it. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah, there's got to be a lot of money in driving a truck across. Oh, God, no, not that middle. Not that middle. <laughs> Less middle. I'm Less not, middle. Yeah, I'm not driving trucks. Fuck that shit. A little higher up. Drive think, a truck. Take a little Let's higher. Trucks. Don't uh, ever, the guy on top of the truck, like Teen Wolf? Don't ever suggest we drive trucks. I never want to drive a truck. I never want to drive a truck. I spent the weekend My. driving a big cargo van. Does that count? No, that's a cargo <laughs> van. But I still don't want to drive it. So here's what SJ, or not SJ, uh, Sarah says. Uh, what I want to do is pretend to be a fan of a third team, but a team that both the Cowboys and the Redskins fans utterly hate. I want to fly a football team flag that will make them come closer together in their shared loathing of that team. The problem is that everything I know about football is from watching pr friends play Madden back in college or from you guys, so I have no idea what team I might be. My first Eagles. thought was the Cheating Magoos, but I'm not sure. Alternatively, if there is some other sport that would make football fans of two rival teams equally disgusted, I think that would work just as well. Eagles. I appreciate any advice in my Cupid's errand of helping my neighbors stay together despite their terrible but not compatible choice of football teams. Fucking you in the face with my rolled up Scoop Fest shirt. Sarah. Here's the thing, Eagles. Sarah. Philadelphia Eagles. Eagles. It would have been the Giants except for anything but the last two years. The yes. Giants are not good. And so no one cares about the Giants because yeah. they're terrible. Get yourself a Carson Wentz jersey. Yes. Uh, yeah, Fly Eagles, fan, fly Eagles the flags. They have a, a song. Most, most, yeah. most, most don't have a song, but they have a song with a refrain that's called Fly Eagles Fly. Eagles fly. fly. It's, the, it's the gay as all balls thing <laughs> I've ever heard in my life. And so... Um, if you put out a bunch of Eagles stuff, whenever you see them, if you're going to be like, fly, Eagles, fly, yeah, then they will get back together. 
I suggest <laughs> I suggest writing out fly eagles fly in white styrofoam cups in your yard. Anytime the eagles beat the giants and then they come on my Facebook page and write fly eagles fly, I'm just like, stop it. Stop that. Stop it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We are grown ups. <laughs> Yeah. Talk shit with statistics and merit. Yeah, Philadelphia Eagles. Oh, the nice thing is if you have a lawn. I, oh, man, I'm just coming up with so many good ideas for the Eagles now. Yeah. Because the Eagles' colors are uh, green and white. Yeah. And so if you have a nice green lawn. That's already out of the way. You already got green. Yeah, you can do stuff in white <laughs> on your lawn. And you got the Eagles' colors down. Yeah. So you can get, like, the, the lawn spray paint. You can get, like, the grass spray paint. Yeah. Spray paint a big eagle head on there on your, on your lawn. a bunch of white rocks. Or a bunch of white rocks. All good ideas. Yeah, yeah so Eagles... Cocaine. Line up on cocaine. Uh, that'll get them back together too. <laughs> yeah. Cocaine. Will work. Although that, although that bit gets pricey real fast. <laughs> yeah, the most, I'm anything for love. Yeah. There's no cost for love. That bit's a lot pricier than the uh, the, the white rock bit. There's, there's white rock. Yeah, it costs you fifty bucks. Enough cocaine to cover your yard. Well, that's a lot of that's a lot of cocaine. Mm-hmm. Oh, Ryer is on the road. He's in Denver. He wants us to call in. He wants us to call him. I oh, just great. asked him for an update, and uh, he said to go ahead and give him a call if you want. Here, I'll do it, Matt. All right, you got it. Yeah. I can't imagine. He says in his message there that he stopped for a bit to play with trains, and that seems so out of character. That's weird. That's so weird. So Ryer, during our sound check, uh, was asked to just start talking about trains, <laughs> and he didn't stop for approximately 28 minutes, <laughs> and it was great. And well, because I had, to, I had to do sound check. I know, but it was wonderful to hear that obsessive love come through. And he was worried he sounded like a maniac, but I was like, no, nah, it's... What do you think a podcast you know? is? Hey, Ryer, you're on the podcast. Oh, hi. How you doing, buddy? Uh, I'm doing great. How are you guys? We're doing real good. Good. Awesome. Um, I'm just outside of Denver. Good. I was wanted to get there yesterday, but then I was like, nah. And then, and then I was going to make it there today, and then I saw some trains on the side of the road. And I spent the last four hours there. <laughs> Good. Uh, so you stayed at my house on Sunday night. Yeah, hey, hang on. One, one second, one second. Good. It's not like we're doing a podcast right now. Yeah, we're on your schedule, okay, sorry, buddy. Yeah, I stayed at your house. Yeah, so, uh, sorry. You stayed at my house Monday night, rather. And then you were Correct. leaving Tuesday morning. Um, yes. You left my house at about noon on Tuesday. That was, that yeah. was Tuesday morning. Uh, to get on the road with the goal of getting to Denver by that night. Correct. How far out of town did you get before your first stop? Uh, I didn't. Exactly. I, I, made, it to the, I made it to the pepper mill. <laughs> <laughs> where, where I had a delicious and healthy lunch of French toast, a chocolate milkshake, and a Reuben sandwich. Uh, <laughs> Jesus. How much, of that, how much of that sugar shaker did you eat? Um, I probably ate a quarter of the sugar shaker while I was waiting for my food. <laughs> which is, which, to be fair, is just sugar in a jar. You remember those yeah, those peppermint like sugar? Colorful sugar? Yeah, it's, so it's multicolored, so it's super. I, I must. So Ryan wants to eat it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Did you yeah, just eat it with a spoon? No, you just poured it in his hand. Yeah, I just poured my hand, you know, a little bit, a little bit here, a little bit there, and then next thing you know, I, I ate a quarter of the whole thing. <laughs> yeah, if that wasn't if it wasn't on the Las Vegas Strip, you'd be the weirdest guy in that restaurant. But instead, you don't yeah, rank really. you don't rank in the top five. No, <laughs> no, not not even close. <laughs> I wasn't even the top five sitting at the counter. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah. Uh, Ryan, what was your highlight of Scoop Fest? My highlight of Scoop Fest? Yeah. Um, well, Jacob made me sit on stage and talk about trains for twenty minutes. Yeah, that was um, good. I I, uh, I just liked hanging out with everyone. It was so cool to see everybody. Um, uh, I liked. Ha- I was. Ha- I did a check in with RJ in the booth, and he and I had some real real bonding time. We got real close to one another. That was that made the whole trip worth it. Oh, good! Wow. Yeah. Oh, I mean, uh, Matt Donnelly sucking my leg too. That helps. Ah, I know. I we all have our own different highlights. That was mine. How's the infection I, on that uh, leg looking? It's doing great. Good. Uh, and I mean, it only itches like a little bit now. Good. Um. <laughs> I, uh, I sent my girlfriend a picture of uh, Matt Donnelly grabbing my crotch and licking my leg. Yeah. And at first she was like, tell Matt to get his hands off my boyfriend's crotch. And then like a minute later, she's like, actually, he's kind of hot. I get it. Nice. Hey. Yeah. Uh, invitation so, accepted. Win. Go. <laughs> no, no, Next Scoop Fest. I'll see you two in a bit. Next Scoop Fest. <laughs> I should be down. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. So, so listeners should know that Ryder did indeed get a, a tattoo. Yeah. Uh, uh, and I licked it while holding his junk in my hand. Yeah. Be- because and your uh, wife seemed thrilled. Wife uh, is really happy with me. Yeah. Uh, just in general, she just loves my behavior during Scoop Fest. She thinks, thinks I'm a real model father. <laughs> <laughs> for, 
for the whole weekend. She yeah. I'm doing, doing a good job for the old kiddos. Sure, sure. <laughs> well, it was good that we had Keeler and Hill right in the front row. You know, we, yeah, we definitely. Didn't let them see that. Yeah. Uh, since then, they've been licking each other's legs. So that's been good. really nice. Good. Yeah. Monkey see, monkey do. <laughs> the worst things they could be doing. <laughs> Keep them off the pole. <laughs> Where's, uh, where's well, next? Yeah, where's I, next? Where's next? Yeah. Like on this drive home? Or... Yes. No, like in life. Yes, on the drive home. Oh, I don't know. I think like, where am I going to drive to next? Um, That's no, exactly what I'm home. asking you. Uh, uh, like today. Uh, <laughs> today, I'm currently driving through the fog looking for a hobby shop. And then I'm going to try and get through Nebraska tonight. Why are you looking for a hobby shop? Why wouldn't I be looking for a hobby <laughs> shop? <laughs> because you're trying to drive cross country to get back home. <laughs> yeah, I'm also like a fucking spaz so it's like oh good trains i want to see some model cars and stuff. <laughs> priorities jacob does your girl how does your girlfriend react you have a is she your girlfriend officially yeah yeah yeah, does, yeah does she know that what that i'm looking for trains no that she's your girlfriend <laughs> yeah she knows that okay I good think. does R- i mean does rj's armpit know that <laughs> <laughs> um no, so when you tell your girlfriend you're on your way home, and then you tell her you stopped at a train for four hours, does she think you hate her, or like no, how does that work? She actually she she called me and she's like, boyfriend, how's it going? I was like, I'm doing well. And she's like, are you driving right now? No, I am not. I uh, was driving. I saw some trains on the side of the road, and then she went, oh boy, okay. Well, I'm going to Starbucks anyway. I'll talk to you later. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm going to take that as she completely understands and loves me unconditionally. You shouldn't take it that way. <laughs> you should take it a different way. <laughs> if, I, um, if I take 15 no, extra sure, minutes sure at the grocery store, my wife is like, Where, what the fuck happened? Yeah, yeah. What? I said, if I take an extra 15 minutes at the grocery store, my wife is like, what the fuck happened? I can't yeah, imagine you calling her and being like, oh, man, I got distracted by trains for four hours. I'm sorry. <laughs> have you tried using I got distracted by trains as an excuse yet? You know what? I have not. There you there go. You, go. you never there know you until you really try. got into trains. I've really painted Today. Us, I've really painted us both into a corner and I'm learning now, Ryer. Thank you. It's been eye opening. I will do thanks for all your help at Scoop Fest I and miss, uh, and have a good drive home. I miss your leg. Yeah, thanks. Thanks guys and thanks to everyone who supported me. I really uh, really appreciate everything. Yeah, yeah. Cool. cool. All right. See, See you, you soon. Later. All right, See bye. You. Oh, that was a waste of time. Yeah. <laughs> Are you going to tell him that you gave him HPV when you licked his leg or not? I was, I, I'm constructing like a more like carefully thought out email than I just want to kind of like bird it out. That's good. That's good. Thoughtful Besides, of you. I have mm-hmm. to figure out how to spell HPV. <laughs> <laughs> also that. All right. What else do we got? It's time for a little Jock versus Nerd. Oh, Shucky to the ducky. Jock versus Nerd action. Oh, am I? Fuck yeah. <laughs> I'm on the hunt for balls. On the hunt for balls. Oh, oh, oh. I'm wow. just making that noise to kill time while I try to get this out of an envelope. <laughs> I was like, what is going on? <laughs> <laughs> a jock versus nerd mail-in edition. Here we are. I will alternate between jock questions. Oh, this this is from uh, the the um, didgeridoo. The, the didgeridoo. Yes. Uh, I will alternate between jock questions and nerd questions. The answer is directly after the question. There are five questions each. Good luck. Jock question. Paul. Or sorry. Uh, jock question. Uh, oh, so this is the question for the jock. So this is the question for Matt. Uh, what was the name of the pit that Boba Fett was thrown into in Return of the Jedi? This is a question for me. Yes. Okay. Um, I believe it was called the Sarlacc Pit. Uh, you got it. The Sarlacc Pit. Well done. Correct. Nerd question. Here you go, Paul. Which team in the NFL wears purple and gold as their colors and beat up on Jacob Saints in week one of the NFL? That would be the 2017 season. Ooh, purple and gold? Purple and gold. Uh, is that Baltimore? That's not... Baltimore, I'm afraid. Matt, what is it? What is the question? Uh, purple and gold team beat up on the Saints in the first season, or first game of the season. Uh, the Vikings. That's the Vikings. Oh, Vikings. I forgot they're purple. Matt, I which state is Captain Kirk from? I forgot they were a football team as well. Right. I believe he is from Iowa. Nailed it. Wow. Matt killing this jock versus nerd. Paul, which team is the oldest one name, one city franchise in all of Major League Sports? Hint, it's a baseball team. 
So it's one 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 word in the in the right, mascot name. Right, right, right. Uh, the Mets. The Mets is incorrect. Uh, 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 Matt, that's, that's your my name. name. Yeah, yeah, thank you. You over there? Uh, yeah. Do you know the answer to this? I don't know because I answer. wouldn't have known this either. The Philadelphia Phillies. Oh, oh knowing it was because coming because from Phillies. him, I would have known that. Yeah, Phillies means Philadelphia. Jock question. <laughs> Queen. Amand. Amandala. Amandala Bill, y'all. Yes. Is the leader of what planet? Oh. Uh... By the way, just to help you out, I've never heard this word in my life. <laughs> just to give you a little hope there. What, were you not paying attention during episode one? I'm going to go with uh, Dagoba. Close enough. Credit. <laughs> what is it's, it? It's Naboo. It yeah. is Naboo. Naboo. I've eaten at Naboo. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Britney Spears was there. Sure, it's sure. It's very nice. Place. Da, na, no. da, na, da, na. Naboo. Paul, Robert Redford's <laughs> character played for what team in the movie The Natural? <coughs> oh, he was... Uh, um, what? Say it again? Robert Redford's character played for what team in The Natural? Oh, fuck. Um, it's a great baseball movie. Yeah. Uh, it's a good baseball movie. Except that no one recognizes them. That's the only thing. That's right. They point. were the. Was it, was it an actual team? He's no. Robert Redford. Right. It was a pretend team. Although the name is an actual team now, but not in baseball. Right. There's a hint for you. The Lightning. No. He had lightning on his bat. That's no. That's true. It's, it's newer than that. The team. The team name is newer than that. Oh, the Rays. No. Way newer oh, than that as the well. The Golden Knights. The Knights. Ah. Um, <laughs> the New York Knights. Wow. That is the the correct answer there. Hollywood days and New York nights. Uh, Matt, Jock question for uh, Jock, uh, for you here coming up. I've the Star Trek movie, I know, of 1979 <laughs> was called Star Trek, the motion picture. You get one point for every other Star Trek movie title you can name. Oh, God. Star Trek movie titles. Starting uh, now? Yes. Uh, Star Trek Two: Electric Boogaloo. Good. Uh, Star Trek uh, Cubed. Yes. Uh, Star Trek Quadrophenia. Sure, no problem. <laughs> Quadrophenia. Star Trek, uh, uh, Welcome to the Pentagon. Yep. Uh, Star Trek, uh, Hexagonal Forces. Yep. Uh, uh, Star Trek, Hipta, Hepta, Hoop, Hoopty. Yep. And, uh, uh, Star Trek, The Ocho. Uh, yes, very good. You, you had all but one. Uh, the one you missed was Thunderdome. <laughs> Star Trek 19, Thunderdome. <laughs> uh, Star Trek, I don't know if it's officially called this, but the J.A. Abrams reboot. <laughs> Is that on there? That's it the should name. be. That's what it's called. <laughs> it generally just That's referred to as that. Yeah. That's the subtitle. <laughs> it, it, it is referred to as the Abrams verse. Yeah. One of the Will's Star Trek 2, Trek Harder. <laughs> Trek Harder. Hilarious. That's good. Trick or Trek, the Halloween movie. <laughs> Trick or track. Uh, don't be trekking. <laughs> don't be trekking. Trek uh, yourself. Can you name any? You wreck yourself. I I really cannot. Wrath of Khan is. That oh, one? that's one. Good. Okay. Wrath of Khan. Because I only just know from going Khan. Yeah, sure. You got it. Uh, that's uh, that's Star Trek Two, right? Wrath right, of Khan. Khan. That's number two. I only know that because it's the first one on this list after Star Trek One. That's right. And as a rule, is until now I thought that was Star Trek Three. I, mean, I, kind of like, I don't know if like Next Generation or Voyager or anything as it was a movie. Yep. Uh, what was that? What was that second second word Voyager. you said? Voyager. And, and where would you possibly voyage to? Uh, voy- where's Where's Ryer voyaging to right now? To uh, uh, Chicago. Uh, and That's what is it. that? And what is that Trek to him? Four Voyage to Chicago. Yeah. Voyage to Sh- <laughs> I like, you got it. <laughs> <laughs> Voyage to the Windy City. <laughs> <laughs> and what is Chicago to Ryer? Uh, it is his home. Voyage home. The voyage home. Well done. There's another point. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, uh, you might you might search for this. Uh, you might search for this person. So it would be the search for a, a pointy-eared uh, alien person. Uh, uh, alien leader. Yep. Fine. Search, search for alien leader. Yep. For alien Star leader. Trek Three. Search for alien leader. <laughs> Throw your soft the, serve. That's Star Trek Two: The Quickening. That's the can, that's the, <laughs> the Cantonese subtitle version. Yes, Star right. Trek Three: Search for Alien Leader. What Hello, Alien Leader. Why you live planet on? <laughs> was I think it was uh, <laughs> the, the uh, Japanese translations for movies. Oh God, you seen that that uh, yeah. Cantonese uh, yeah. sub redub of uh, Episode Three? No. 
Oh man, it'll get fan, Phantom or not? What is it called? Uh, it'll just the three episode three. Yeah, what's that damn movie called? Phantom Menace. No, there's Phantom Menace. Uh, clone, uh, Re- yeah, Revenge of the Sith. Good gosh, Revenge of the Sith. Yeah, right All right, so the ones no, you did it. not get were Search for Spock, The Final Frontier, The Undiscovered Country, Generations, First Contact, Insurrection, Nemesis, Star Trek 2019. That was the J.J. Abrams. It was just called yeah, yeah. Star Trek. Uh, Into Darkness and Beyond. Oh, okay. Uh, so you got two though. You got Wrath of Khan and Voyage Home. I'm great. I'm yeah. a great person. You're knocking it out. No. Paul, there are nine major league sports teams in the U.S. whose team do, whose team name does not end with the letter S. Oh, yes. You get one point for each one you can name. Dennis, I love this question. This Dennis is always one of my favorite sports before, questions. But, yeah. Um, the uh, You just named one a few minutes ago when we were talking about the natural. Right. Uh, the lightning. The correct. lightning. Correct. That's yep, correct. Good. That's one. There's another hockey team. Actually, there are two other hockey teams. Yep. Uh, Just so we're clear, this is putting Graham uh, and his wife to sleep. Well, <laughs> they know what's up. Oh, uh, shoot. Uh, not the Rays, not the Ducks, no, no. not the Blackhawks, the uh, not, not Flyers. Not Jesus. <laughs> how about we don't do the not options? Blues. <laughs> how many? I, I'm just impressed with how many hockey teams Paul knows. Uh, just because, you know why I know hockey teams? Because they have cool emblems. They do. That's how I can remember them. If baseball had emblems on their shirts. All right. Are we time? Are we at time? Yeah, I think we're at time. I would, okay. prefer, I would prefer emblems on their shirts. Uh, Colorado, Paul. Col- the Colorado. The, the Rockies. Nope. That ends with an S. And it's not a hockey team. That makes sense. The Diamondbacks. Nope. That's Arizona, and still not a hockey team. The snake. The, the snake closer. singular. Uh, the avalanche is what I was trying to lead you towards. The Colorado avalanche. Uh, then you also have the wild, and that's all the hockey teams. Right. You want to try and name a You want to try and name, uh, there are two baseball teams. Two baseball that teams. That you have not named. Yeah. Uh, no. They are very similar. If you get one of them, I bet you'll get the other one. Yeah, I'm sure. No, I'm I good. think colors. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> the red Sox and the white Sox. Those are X's. The Oh, the end with X's. S-O-X, and, and yeah, it's S-O-X. For Eat them. all the dicks on that technicality. Uh, not a technicality. How it's Keep spelled. Going. I know, but it's te- but that's misspelled. NBA, you got you have you the You don't heat. spell socks with an X. <laughs> you have the heat. What? You have yeah. the jazz. You have the thunder, and you have the magic. I right? wonder why I have a hard time in stores. Heat, jazz, thunder, magic. <laughs> uh, po- uh, Matt, <laughs> you get one that point. That was uh, my favorite Red Hot Chili Peppers album. <laughs> I think we made that joke the last time we had this question. Heat thunder, jazz magic. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, you get one point if you can name five characters from Star Trek. Is this still happening? This, this yes. Is, okay, great. This is your last question. <laughs> what is it? I can name what? Uh, you get one point if you can name five characters from Star Trek. Okay. Ahora. Good. Uh, Spock. Yes. Captain Kirk. Yes. Scotty. Good. Uh, you just yelled one a minute ago. Captain Kirk? Captain nope. Picard? No, Star Trek 2, you knew the name because of... Oh, the- Khan! Khan! There you go. Which, by the way, I actually only know because of Bill Simmons making fun of Minnesota Timberwolves' former GM. Uh, his last name was Khan. David oh, yeah. Khan. <laughs> and so anytime uh, he would make a bogus move, Simmons would print Khan across the, the, the title. Wrath of Khan. Uh, All right, headline. Paul, here's your catch-up question. Because yes. you are... Uh, you have, behind. What you is have, ketchup made out of? You have one, you have one point love. compared to uh, five points <laughs> that Matt of, has. Made of love, made of gold. I don't know. It's so good. So here's the deal, Paul. You yes. get one point if you can name five positions on a football team. But you will also get an extra point yeah. for each position you can name after five. Right. Ooh, I like that. Uh, yeah. I like that. Tight end... Good. Go on. Uh, quarterback. Good. Okay. Mm, defensive lineman. Good. Yes. Offensive lineman. Good. Uh, <laughs> the uh, the nickel. Nickel. The what? squirter. <laughs> the uh, I'm giving him credit for nickelback. Okay. Ho- ho- hose boy. Uh, By the way, that's a point. You got a, you got a point. Rat that's, fucker. Aren't squirter and hose boy one position? Uh, I think so. Okay. Especially since the merger. <laughs> Line, line jump guy. Yep. Catcher. Good. Uh, uh, fall down. Fall down. Uh, you got five, no problem. He, uh, head in I, belly. I don't think he's even named a kicker yet. Slow down. No. Uh, make him go. Yep. Make him go. Uh, Charlie. 
I'll give you credit for Charlie. Yeah, all right, all right. Uh, electric slide. Oh, I'm getting crushed. I'm getting crushed. Uh, man on left, man on right. Uh, team doctor. Yep, good. Uh, face hugger, Joneser, uh, runabout, takedown, snake pass, uh, fart share, uh, dingle wagger, uh, flag eater. Uh, not since 1983. Or 1983. They dropped that rule? <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, no flag eater. Yeah, 1983 was the all first right, last yeah. year they had that. All right, all right. Uh, tandem dance. Tandem dance was actually only when they wore leather heads, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Very, yeah. Very, um, uh, uh, that's it. <laughs> Paul crushed it. <laughs> okay. Of course that's it. You named every position up there. Yeah. <laughs> I've, never, I've never been more destroyed in a Jack versus Nerd in my no, life. No, no, that, that was a beating. <laughs> I forgot there's a fart chair. <laughs> Everyone does. <laughs> Everyone always forgets about the fart chair. Until the fourth quarter when all of a sudden the fart chair comes out on the field. Yep. And you're like, oh shit, game over. They're sharing oh. farts. It's done. <laughs> they figured it out. Yep. I want to thank Ben Gillette for creating this podcast. Thanks, Ben. And thanks and for coming to Scoop Fest. Yes. I, want to, I want to thank Graham and Amanda, Amanda Whitaker. Yep. I want to thank Michael Elsroth and his lovely lady. Mm-hmm. Uh, which, by the way, those are four of the people that we could not have done Scoop Fest without this year. Yeah, I was just yep. saying. And Christine uh, Elsesser and Christine Brock. Christine and Brock and uh, Ryer and RJ. Uh, without those people, we honestly could yeah. not have had Scoop Chili Fest. Bowls. Yep. Chili Bowls. And Chili, chili Bowls. Yes, yes, of course, Chili. I'd also like to say thank you to uh, Fact Check Andy, Andy Taylor. Yeah. And Who came dressed as Paul, the Jog versus Nerd. Which Great was ridiculous. Stuff. Celestia also came to help us out. Celestia Ward yeah. uh, came and helped out in the, in the game room. It was awesome uh, to have her there, and she did some. Steve uh, Bat Scoop. Uh, yep, took uh, pictures took, for took, us took all weekend. So photos. many photos. Thank yep. you, Steve. For Can't all wait that. to see all those. Yep, yep. And um, know we're missing people. Yeah. Uh, Thank you to everyone that helped out with Scoop Fest. Thank you yeah. so much to everyone that came to Scoop Just Fest. For showing up for fuck's um, sake. Yeah. It means the oh, world Ted, to us. Ted for all. Oh, the Ted, of course. Ted. I guess I all the getting extra Ted. Help. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you so and much for, for stripping for us. You'll, if you listen to that show, you'll hear oh us gosh. take his clothes off. So funny. Uh, also, he uh, recreated the uh, the sticker that we sent out of me with in the in the tank top, <laughs> the uh, the no pants sticker yep. with the uh, with the censored bar across it. That you can see on Scoop Group if you're on Scoop Group on Facebook. <laughs> it has a censored bar across it. What I also found out later was that he put out an uncensored version of it on the private Scoop <laughs> chat the scoop that, that everyone that was sharing. Scoop chat. Bat Scoop uh, hooked that up, too. That was a hit. Yeah, yeah that was a big the, hit. The, uh, that's going to be a, a feature from now on. Mm-hmm. That was amazing. Going yeah. forward, that will be... Oh, Cargo Van Killer says that some of the photos from uh, Bat Scoop are already up. That's great. Oh, awesome. great. Uh, yeah. yeah, and if you have photos from Scoop Fest that you'd like to share, uh, scoopfest.com. Yeah. Yeah. Go so please, please head over there and, and uh, share photos there. Uh, I did not bring thank yous today. Because I'm terrible. That's okay. Yeah, I'm we'll bad. At, we'll I'm just bad at my job. Down on uh, Sunday's episode. Yeah, but, so we're, uh, we're gonna have more later. Just know that I love you, all of you. If you're listening to this, I think you're sexy. All of you Seriously. contribute mm. through Patreon. Look at the mirror right now. Keep doing and it. Know what? I think you are sexy. I think we're on the track for uh, five Satan again this month. Maybe yes, we're, little, we're definitely we're, we're trying to go for six Satan. Yeah, yeah. and to, to put my, my money where my mouth is, we put up an episode. We, we stripped the uh, audio of the first bucket show. That's now on the private. Yeah, uh, good. Anyone who sponsors from a dollar to any to any level on the patreoncom slash scoop gets access to our private RSS feed with separate podcasts. On there, just last night, I uploaded uh, the first Bucket Show audio uh, of the first Bucket Show. Good stuff. I uploaded our first uh, Scoop Flicks and Chill episode of Arrow, yeah. which some have already said is better than our MacGyver episodes. That, and that is high praise. That is high praise. Which, as, as we were talking about before, because I think you can hear love in our voices for MacGyver. And we do not have any love for Arrow. <laughs> no. So we rip Arrow to shreds. And we'll be doing that more, I think. I really, I miss no, it. No, I enjoy doing it. I miss it. I want to make fun of it more. Don't yeah. fall in love. Uh, uh, and then uh, we also put up uh, behind the scenes of episodes 7, 8, and 9 of Fool Us. All that is up on the private RSS feed uh, yeah. just this week. Uh, and you have access to everything else that we've recorded as well. So go to patreon.com and find a level to support us slash as well. Um, Patreon.com slash Hayscoops. If we can reach six Satan this month, we will release the demon that is buried underneath the churn. Yep. <laughs> to Which I'm not sure how we're going to keep the churn afloat after we release him. <laughs> but we'll figure that out when the time comes. Uh, but honestly, thank tomorrow. you all for listening. Thank you all for subscribing. As we announced the Scoop Fest, we uh, uh, weeks ago beat the uh, 4 million uh, download plateau. Yep. Uh, we have some great uh, people talking to us about different conversations. A lot of people are contacting us about if we can perform live in their city. Uh, please reach out uh, to Matt at Hayscoops about that i'd love mm-hmm. to help arrange that yep. um and if we're going to some destination we will go anywhere if we can make it work financially yep. we have yeah. no we have no bones about going to the smallest nope. town nope no nope. any, uh, anywhere like, in, in anywhere. fact we love 
love going to small towns. Well, yeah. We'll, 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 we'll go to Australia. We're we'll just, we'd love to go to Australia. We're Fuck, just like we'd love Pitbull, to go to Australia. Pitbull getting sent to uh, Alaska. If yeah. the money's right, let's go. Yeah, well, yeah, if we can make it work, we can make it work. We want to go. Um, so contact me about that. It I feel like, like I can safely say that we will go to Alaska for less money for us. Yeah. If we can just cover the expenses and get there, I feel like the three of us will probably take less money just to take a vacation to Alaska or to uh, Australia. Uh, oh, to Australia. I'm, I'm yes. in Australia. I said Alaska. I'm in wow. Australia. Did that change everything that you were saying? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Um, you, All of a sudden, you agreed. You went from I went from like, what the fuck are you talking about? Yeah. Uh, like I was like, I guess I've never been to Alaska. Sure, I guess we'll sure. take a pay cut for that. I, I suppose Delaney State Park. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, 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 but no, Australia. Yeah, anything to work out. Just breaking even going to Australia would well, be awesome. I mean, yeah. because that's a, that's an expensive trip. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Just, just the flights alone are worth everything that we're, that everything <laughs> we're charging so far for shows. Yeah, uh, but we can make it happen. Yeah, anything is possible. With I, money. I'll t- well, I'll tell you not only that, <laughs> RJ was so kind to set up a special scoop showing, basically, of Mystere yes. on Monday night. Oh, yeah. yeah. And I pushed myself and went. Yeah. And I'm so glad I did. There were 30-plus scoops there. Yeah. I went to that as well. I had such a good time. And he treated us all to a m- massive backstage tour afterwards. It was beautiful. But sitting there, just watching that show and being surrounded by all these lovely people, that was my overwhelming thought. I was like... We can do fucking anything. Anything is possible as human beings. We could just, you know, just keeping at it. Yeah, and for all of you who are listening, I know not everybody could come out to Las Vegas. Uh, you were missed, and uh, yep. uh, uh, but, but but the proof was in the pudding. Every other podcast that came could not believe the type of listeners that we have. So uh, we mean it when we say that you guys are the best. Thank you so much for being a listener. Thank mm-hmm. you so much for being a subscriber. If you want to bring other people into our universe, you can try to obelisk scheme them one listener at a time. That's I think Turn that's what's uh, that's been our secret sauce. Go for one motherfucker. Don't go crazy. Don't blanket it. Don't no, this, no. this ain't for everybody. No, no. Uh so uh uh we really appreciate it and uh we will see you soon. We'll see you soon. It's time for them drums, yo. I thought you didn't have thank yous. You do have thank yous. I have these thank yous. I don't have the list of names. Oh, got it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Let's see. We have a limerick here from a rule scooptania about s'mores. This is going out to every scoop with a sweet tooth. Marshmallow, graham cracker, and chocolate. You stick it over fire and cook it. It's great at a camp, but don't let it get damp. Or it'll melt on your hand, and then you'll be fucked. <laughs> Fact. Charles Ullman would like the, the, old, the old A B C C E rhyme scheme yeah, right that, there. Well, that was uh, the rarely used. I was doing the uh, what's what's his name? Uh, little 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 Wayne. Little Wayne. Little Wayne rhymes. <laughs> My little Wayne rhymes. Lasagna. Silent like the lasagna. Uh, Charles Ullman would like a limerick about raising your Patreon level dedicated to all the scoops that did that big Patreon push a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, thank you guys for that. And uh, please, please do. Greatly uh, appreciate it. This, this month would be particularly appreciated mm-hmm. uh, uh, as we finish out Scoop Fest and as Paul and I wait for our new new stuff to start. Um, yep. But uh, uh, what are we doing? Uh, raising Patreon level. Raising Patreon level. Okay. I was tithing 10%. But then up my percentage went. I got stickers in the mail, a fuck you in the face bucket pail. I feel like it's money well spent. <laughs> oh. Gasman Scoop says, can I have a limerick about getting drunk at Scoop Fest and hopefully having a good reason for a regret fest? Uh, dedicated to the famous Jake, who once again cannot come. Sorry, son. Oh, sorry, Jake. Jake, we got to do some uh, FaceTime with real quick here. Oh, that's very nice. Yeah, he was... Uh, Chris was showing me a couple of times when he was headed off to school, and uh, I was just, I'm so sorry, dude. Yeah. Jake, I'm sorry your dad went up and booked. Uh, uh, while you may have heard stories that cooked, uh, you can take a look around and see just what we found. It wasn't nearly as fun as it looked. <laughs> <laughs>
Not true. Christine Elsesser would like a limerick about job interviews dedicated to Matt and Paul. Hey, if we're going to lose our jobs, at least we'll all be in it together. Looking forward to commiserating at Scoop Fest with you. Holy shit. Someone hired Christine yesterday. Yeah. Oh, she's so good. She'll make you some fucking money. She's fucking insane. Oh, she's got her gig now. Yeah. You, know, you heard about the new gig? No, no. Oh. Yeah, yeah I heard about it. It's yeah, good. Yeah. It's okay. Good I don't Let's know not we, say it on air. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, but, but it may factor into next year's Scoop Fest. In a good way? In a... Fantastic. Oh, good. I don't want to lose her. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, what can we do to make her come back? No, no, no. And I okay. think I think it could be really good. Oh, yeah, she yeah. is fucking A++. Plus. Uh-huh. All right. So what are we doing at Scoop Fest for this uh, thing? Uh, job searching. Job interviews. Job searching. Uh, looking for jobs is quite a dance. For your hirers, I try to entrance. Uh, but I feel like a fool learning all these rules. Why does every job require pants? <laughs> oh, tell it, son. Man. Uh, Aaron would like a... Uh, oh, no, that's not a limerick. I should keep doing these other limericks here. Uh, Cheesy Scoop would like a limerick uh, about Rick and Morty, dedicated to uh, Mulan Shizan sauce. Shizwan. Great. I haven't seen either new Rick and Morty's yet. Shizom that, that sauce. Szechuan sauce that came out during the promotion of Mulan way back in the day. Ah, okay. And then they actually, Rick and, you, you know the saga on this? I, I, uh, and so I Rick do, Rick and Morty, vaguely. you know, uh, Jason Rowland, who is so adamant about getting this sauce, McDonald's head chef concocted a large batch and sent out special big, like, jugs. Ble- bleach jug size containers of Szechuan sauce to uh, Justin and a bunch of other oh, Rick and funny. Morty hardcores. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. That's awesome. Yeah, so they, they, they might bring it back. It's got kind of a plum base. Oh, yeah. so do you, my friend. You got <laughs> do, a little bit of a plum do base I ever. over there. And it's flared, Daddy. <laughs> plum and flared. <laughs> so this is about the dedication is to, of the Szechuan sauce itself. Uh, topic is Rick and Morty. Rick and Morty. All right. Uh, trust me, I know what I'm doing. Uh, we'll get back to the right timeline soon. Uh, don't stay in the ship. Okay, stay in the ship. Fuck you, Morty, it's ruined. <laughs> uh, Leon Cox would like a limerick about PS4 gamer rage quit. Dedicated to cunts who rage quit because they're losing. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Is it a limerick? Yes. Yeah. I see you can't stand the heat. Because your fighting character got beat. You're weak, saw son. I kicked you. You're done. I'm going to hold the fire to your feet. And finally, Scooper Duper would like a limerick about road trips going wrong, dedicated to me and my girlfriend for surviving the road trip from hell and dealing with the most annoying person we've ever known. <gasps> oh. That wasn't on the way to our event, I hope. I hope not. I don't think so. I don't think so. All right. Oh, being stuck in a car with an annoying person is... I hope, <laughs> I hope that it's okay that I pooped in your car this way. <laughs> I pooped in your car, right here in your car. Be careful, there's poop in your car. <laughs> and now it's time. Little Wayne. <laughs> for a haiku. That's the little Wayne style, yo. Okay, haiku. <laughs> Scoop O'Taters would like a haiku about Scoop fantasy teams. football. Dedicated to Eli, who is going down this year. No shit. Is he? He's finally yeah, he's never good. Off. He's never a good fantasy quarterback anyway, but... Oh. Uh, oh, Eli. That's I don't know the... if he's talking about Eli Manning or just a person named Eli. Oh, a person named... Oh, okay. Then that case. could be either way. Who am I thinking Both of? Both I agree with. Oh, I'm thinking of Chidi Magoo Tom Brady. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's fine like... still, right? Yeah, but he's never a really good fantasy player. Either. Yeah. Okay. Um... Fantasy... Oh, yeah. Meaningless... Sport for fun? No. Silly waste of time. Walter Scoopchak would like a haiku about rusty trombones dedicated to my post-high school girlfriend. Congratulations. My ass is the mouthpiece now. (laughs) Blow that sweet butt tune. You're way Yank off. my wiener for more sound. <laughs> that was not even close to my What? 
Oh, it's 575. Seven. I went 757. Seven. You went 675, whatever the no, fuck No, I went 757. Seven. Uh, uh, I counted. What? Do it again. Let's, let's do it again. If only we had a, a tape of this. <laughs> Pralines and Dick. No, we're, we're moving on. It's 575. Five. I went backwards. Pralines and you Dick would like a haiku seven. about seven. how rad Elvis is. Dedicated to my sweet, soon-to-be Mrs. Scoop Pralines and Dick. Elvis is rad. <laughs> On toilet throne I sit, yet my attraction is real. The king of bacon. <laughs> and Darth Scooper would like a haiku about the correct way to eat corn on the cob. Haiku dedication to medium, rare, and appropriate meals. <laughs> corn on the cob. Yum. Lots of butter. Salt. And stuff. Mayonnaise and pepper. And now it's time for Triple Threat. What's that style that they do it with the Mexican street carts? What's Big it called? Monty? Elote. Elotes. Oh, boy. By the way, speaking of fantasy being useless, like, I literally, like, auto-drafted and kind of, like, picked up off of waivers yeah. on one team. I'm 3-0 and in that league. You're crushing. I have no idea who's on my team. Like, Perfect. not even, I don't, I couldn't, I couldn't name two players. Yeah. It's Gambling just, is, is random? Is, <laughs> what? <laughs> what the fuck? Give me this just in, everyone. Gambling random. Give me a triple threat for Aaron about uh, the Backstreet Boys fans dedicated to the Backstreet Boys, the second best new act in Las Vegas. Did we? What happened? We have we no idea. We, don't, yeah, we, won't, we won't find out until November. The fix is in. Uh, 185 Backstreet Boys walking to the bar. I started counting syllables on my hand. Yeah. <laughs> 185 Backstreet Boys fans walking to the bar. Bartender's like, I'm surprised there's still this many of you left. <laughs> Stay down, Backstreet. Too good, too long. Uh, they call me the Backstreet Boys. Fans. Because, oh, fans. they call me the Backstreet Boys fans. Yeah. Because I blow. <laughs> fans blow. I like my women. Uh, 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 I like my women like I like my Backstreet Boys fans. Uh, clearly, they have no taste. Yeah. Uh, I like my women like I like my Backstreet Boys fans. Uh, big fans of five dudes. <laughs> What's the difference in your mom and a Backstreet Boy uh, fan? What? what? One could be seen in the parking lot of a stadium drunk yelling, I want it that way. And the other is a Backstreet Boys fan. Nice. <laughs> ben Cabal would like a triple threat about oranges dedicated to Bing Crosby. Oh, oh. yeah. Sure enough. Got uh, 185 uh, oranges walking to the bar. Bartender uh, says, uh, 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 we don't serve oranges here. And like, why? You don't like our appeal? Uh. Appealing of an orange. I like my women like I like my oranges. Rindy. You want in, Graham? Oh, Graham's, Graham's got one. They call me the orange because I always leave it a little bit left in your teeth. Oh, <laughs> good, 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 good. I like my women like I like my oranges. They leave a little bit left in my teeth. Yeah. What's the difference between your mom and an orange? <laughs> what, what's, what's that, that Bing? Bing Crosby? In the morning when I squeeze one, I'm pretty pleased as to what comes out. <laughs> <laughs> What's in between your mom and an orange? One. Uh, one uh, gets ravaged by a hurricane, which drives up its price, and the other is an orange. <laughs> <laughs> Scooping or ascending one like a triple threat about donkey balls, dedicated to Donald Trump, the king of the donkey balls. <laughs> <laughs> donkey balls are a macadamia nut uh, surrounded by chocolate. It oh. is a delicious snack. Oh, I thought donkey balls were extra testicles of donkeys. Hey, they might be that, too. Does but he the like the donkey balls? No, I don't think this has anything to do with that. Okay. <laughs> He's like, I was like, is this, is this the Reagan jelly bean thing? And I also thought, was it donkey... Uh, oh, truffles? What's the one for donkey poop? Is a euphemism for donkey poop? Oh, is there? I, I don't know about this. Donkey poopy, which is... Ah, uh, donkey poopy. <laughs> which is... Which is you They're not have... the ones that come out square. No! No, that's wombat. <laughs> yeah, wombats come out square. No. Donkey balls! 185 donkey balls walk into the bar. The bartender's like, this is disgusting. <laughs> oh, I, I, I wiped a full bean yesterday. What? I wiped a full bean. I heard the words. I don't know the meaning. <laughs> I went for, you know, finishing the, the, the deuce drop. 
uh-huh. and went for the cleanup. Yeah. Full bean. Intact bean. Went through the whole system. Intact bean. <laughs> oh, that's horrible. <laughs> That's the the worst thing I've ever heard in my a, life. An intact so bean kid- is no euphemism. No euphemism. Wiped an intact kidney bean. <laughs> went through the whole system. It Sorry didn't, for coughing didn't Mike. phase it. That is the single uh, most horrific thing I've ever heard. Well, that's what happened. By far. <laughs> yeah, a Mr. Bean. Wiped a full bean. <laughs> and Jeez. I just killed Graham. I, I, I murdered Graham with my bean wipe story. <laughs> I'm glad I got to put that in there somewhere. Is that was I, when I was Me doing too, it? Me too. an episode when, title. When it happened, I was like, "This is uh, this is podcast. <laughs> this is podcast." That's what podcasting it, does. It turns- I'll tell you, it wasn't like other stuff. It was it, it it found a way to separate itself from the rest of the pack. Yeah. Solo whole bean. I like my women like I like my donkey balls. Uh, connected to uh, connected directly next to the scrotum of a donkey. <laughs> They call me the donkey ball because I uh, I'm hairy and uh, 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 and I'm hairy and I'm disgusting. Uh, what's the difference between your mom and the donkey ball? What's that? One is filled with donkey semen. Yeah, and the other one is a donkey ball. <laughs> <laughs> what's the difference Boom! between your mom and donkey balls? What's that? One is a party where you dance with and make out with a bunch of donkeys, <laughs> and the other is a donkey ball. <laughs> Kiwi Fruit Scoop would like a triple threat about bus passengers dedicated to those assholes that take up two seats with their bags. Oh, man spreading, as they call it. I guess bagging too. Tea bagging. Bus passengers. Yes. 185 bus passengers walk into the bar. The bartender says, I'm sorry, we don't serve bus passengers here. And the bus passengers are like, that's weird. This would probably be a big part of your clientele. <laughs> 185. <laughs> 185. Who doesn't ride a bus sometimes? Bus bus passengers walk into the bar, and the bartender's like, honestly, if you can't afford Uber, you can't afford to drink oh, here. <laughs> fancy cocktails. <laughs> this is a fancy bar, bar, bus guy. I like my women like I like my bus passengers. Uh, unshowered, crazy, and shouting Bible verses at me. Mm-hmm. Uh, what's the difference between your mom and a bus passenger? What's that? According to the Japanese, one is only a few light proddings away from having a full-on orgy in the middle of any city bus ever. <laughs> and the other one is normal bus passengers. <laughs> What's the difference between your mom and a, and a bus passenger? What's that? There has to be someone in front operating the big winch to f- open that flap to let people in and out on one of them. <laughs> and the other, the other is a bunch of bus passengers. <laughs> What's the difference between your mom and a bunch, and a bu- and a bunch of bus passengers? What? Uh, one uh, as a, a group that has a card that allows them to have a monthly access. <laughs> <laughs> and the other is a bus passenger. <laughs> <laughs> That's it for us. All right. See you uh, later, Scoops. We'll see you later, Scoops. I don't know what day it is or I'd say what day we were going to see you, but uh, we'll see you later. Uh, yeah. And then this is, uh, oh, uh, for uh, are we off here?